Someone's gonna kill me, man! <laughs> there. Hey everybody, it's me. It's uh, Keanu Reeve, apparently. That's my new one. You might also know me as Mystery Recaps, Deep Dark Boys, Deep Recaps, Adam After Dark. I've had many aliases. And I just figured it wouldn't be cool unless I made it, continued to make it confusing. You know, if I, if I made it the same as one of the others, it would almost be disappointing in some weird way. Uh, <laughs> um, looks like, okay, so so that you guys know, this is the very first time I've ever streamed on Twitch. I don't even know if I'm live right now. I don't even know if I'm, maybe I'm muted. Uh, maybe if anyone can give me any confirmation can, if, as to whether you can, could you hear the, the video that played before this? I've been uh, preparing for this all weekend, really throwing my best foot forward. To get all of this uh, up and running so that you guys can okay you can hear awesome and i've got my chat <laughs> my main screens here and then chats over here and i've never done this before i feel like i'm almost faking it right now uh <laughs> so i have to look so far over to the side to see what you guys are saying but this is awesome i've got a little activity log i saw a ton of you guys followed before this even started thank you so much for doing that uh, if anyone hasn't followed yet and wants to try it now, because I want to see if something, uh, a little something pops up that I that I engineered for you. I'm not just gonna sit and wait though. Uh, so, so, okay, I'm a little okay. Wait, can you guys hear this? Did did you guys hear that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so I got my Wilhelm screams queued up. That's great. It's nice to know that uh, that everything's coming through nice and clean. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll throw these on. Throw a little background music on. Throw a little something underneath myself. So how is everybody? There will be Steve. There will be some spoilers. Uh, I've got a game loaded up for, for us to play together for a little bit today see uh, how into it you guys are, but I'm a little ways into the game. Uh, I'm going to play a bit of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which has really, really grabbed a hold of me. Uh, I had no idea I was going to enjoy this game at all, let alone be... Oh, here we go. Great. Wow. See? <laughs> could you guys hear that? <laughs> Please tell me you could hear that one. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh man, I'm so happy that this is all that this is all working. And I'm so happy that I get to ha make Owen Wilson like part of my my persona here on Twitch. What a fantastic. I got a I got a, a mug of coffee. It's the fresh hour of um, 7 o'clock p.m. right now. But if you knew the kind of weekend that I had that I had had, it wouldn't surprise you too much that I got coffee. I also just brushed my teeth, so it's kind of a rough combo so hold on this stream okay let me let me make this bigger so that I can see more of the chat this is this is so cool I've I'm not gonna say I've dreamt about doing this <laughs> I've I've day dreamt about doing this it hasn't been in my dream dreams but it's been in my my conscious thoughts a lot what it would be like to try to keep up with uh, something like this um, 
This is cool. It's so cool. So I, I imagine that I know most of you guys from the Discord, but your names are probably different on Twitch, so... I won't be able to call you out by name as I know you, but uh, I'll do my best to respond to everything that's going on here. This is awesome. People drink coffee from a translucent glass? Yeah! I got this from my old job at Ubisoft, and it's like, um... Uh, I can't remember the... <laughs> it's like triple thick or something. Like, the glass is like, um... Reinforced or something? Which, funny enough, it like... It doesn't really armor it. Apparently, if you drop this thing, it'll explode into a million pieces. It's actually very dangerous, but it holds heat or coolness, one or the other. Oh, what's this song? Oh, some Zelda. How fitting. I don't know anything about some um, copyright on Twitch or if music like this would get me in trouble. I'm hoping not. I don't think so. Video game music is typically fair game in the YouTube space. So I figure I can throw this stuff on in the background and it's not a huge not a huge deal, right? So, let me see. What have I So yeah, the glass is uh great. Hey. Wow. The Bardic the Bardic Jester. Did I get that right? Feel free to correct me if I got that wrong. Thank you for joining. Thank you for following me. Does that mean that you'll get notifications when I go live? That's kind of cool. I don't even know how to Hey, Lollipopper. Wow. That's <laughs> so great. I love this, this alert is, uh, I thought long and hard about what I wanted that alert to feel like yesterday, and now I'm, now I'm pretty pleased with what I chose. I'm gonna go, I'm going to sleep. It's 2 a.m. for me now. Oh, well, sleep, sleep, I don't even want to say your name. Sleep loser. Great. Wow. Hey, Aphrodite, thank you for following. <laughs> uh, sleep, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for staying up. I, I imagine that you stayed up super late just to catch the beginning of this. I'm really happy that you did. Thanks for helping me test this out. See if it all comes together. Um, and please, get yourself a good night's sleep. Get that head on that pillow and, uh, wow. Super Mario Galaxy. So, yeah, uh, King Nike, yeah, I worked at Ubisoft for quite a while, actually. At least five years, uh, motion capture department. Um, contract based for a while while I was working in the film industry here in Toronto and then uh, eventually full-time and that's what I was doing through the pandemic basically ever since I started working with mystery and uh, started making more videos on my YouTube channels um, I've been doing use, uh, Ubisoft full-time but I've since changed I work I work elsewhere these days Steve, yeah the discord's not so active I blame I blame myself for that more than anybody I've been producing a fat, big fat zero content, and uh, it's, I've just been letting letting life get away from me a little bit. I've been I've been allowing myself to believe I'm too busy to do stuff like this, or to edit videos for YouTube. And you know, it, not to say that the only reason people talked on Discord was because I was making stuff. Actually, the community's great there, and everyone's super friendly with one another, and people are always talking about their days and whatnot. But I think that just my lack of involvement over the last couple months has probably caused a bit of a lull over there. So. Hopefully, I can spruce it up by <laughs> playing Zelda. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is any uh, any good. What's consistency? Double wall cups, vacuum glass, Chloe. I think that's pro you're probably. This is some crazy music. One second. Oh, let's go. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so double wall cups, vacuum glass, it's one of those, it's one of those. All I know is I'm sipping really good coffee out of it right now, and, uh... <laughs> so, okay, yeah, Bardic Jester, I got that right. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Um, Narwhal, if you mean, by what's consistency, if you mean how consistently will I stream, that's to be seen. This is, um... I just, you know, I, I, I found myself overthinking this all the time. I would be like, well, I'd like to try streaming, but... And I'd come up with a thousand reasons not to, or why, like, even if it started off going well, it would... Immediately afterwards, it would start to suck, all that. So I, I just was worried about so much, and then I decided, well, stop worrying and just get it done and, and see see how much fun you have, and then, you know, that'll, that'll help dictate what you do next. Uh, so that's the kind of, kind of the zone I'm in. Consistency-wise, I would hope, like, once a week. Uh, I don't know if I'd be able to hold to specific days, just because I have uh, quite a few jobs these days. 
but I love playing games in my free time and I figured it'd be really fun to figure out a way to uh, do that with you guys because engaging with you guys has been like one of the main highlights of my life for the last two and a half years so how long has it been since the pandemic soft ended I, I can't even remember but ever since mystery started and you guys have started appearing in my life it's been uh, a really sweet deal for me I, I really love talking to you guys so this is kind of a cool new way to do it although I'm getting pretty jumbled up uh panic candle i'm i'm not humble i'm acting i'm just i'm like my good man keanu reeve Z, I, i'm an actor uh, <laughs> no i don't know I, i'm nervous more than anything <laughs> yo correct wow. correct is correct is um oh i know who that is is that az has az entered the chat all right, don't worry about Discord. I will pick, it will pick up again. Well, it'll yeah, I hope so. And I really, you know, like I'll, I'll tell you guys this. I think that the the most distinct change in like my <laughs> this is going to be a weird one to tell in front of Dr. Mario. Hold on. Oh, way better. Let's get some Shadow of the Colossus. So, when I back back when I was like at my peak for like producing YouTube content and talking to you guys in Discord every day and like just trying to keep all those balls juggled, that was when I was making the um, the Elden Ring videos. And then I, I had a whole bunch of people reaching out to me telling me to stop doing gaming stuff because my audience, which is which was everyone who was coming over for Mystery Recapped, like they don't want to see that stuff. They're coming over and they're getting confused. You should make movie recaps. So I tried to do that with like Morbius and stuff like that. And I changed everything, and I kind of killed my own channel. Like, I kind of sacrificed my own identity in order to try to appeal to um, something I thought people wanted out of me, you know? And I wasn't, I was never quite sure if it was true, because even just like the comments sections in the Discord, that only ever makes up a small percentage of your actual viewership. Lots of people who watch never, never interact with you at all. So I just got really really confused about what I should be doing and as soon as I stopped doing Elden Ring I became really sad I was like well the gaming stuff is kind of my chosen platform it's my chosen method of uh, of sort of conveying myself I guess so I don't know going going to the trying to make movie recaps it took so long to make one of those on my own it gave me way more respect for um, for mystery recaps pipeline everybody who works over there like I'm just a small part of that so I was like, man, I just can't keep this up on my own. And then I got really, I was like, well, should I switch it back to the game channel? And then I was like, well, I don't know. That's going to confuse people even more. And I ultimately, I just got dissuaded and I kind of burnt out and fell away from you guys for a little bit. But now, <laughs> now I'm, I'm feeling like I'm back. So uh, what's going on? I'm just, I'm just rambling in an echo chamber with my own thoughts here. I never thought about how aw awkward it was to be in a conversation with a bunch of people, but you're the only one talking. I, this is... How do people do this? Hold on. Hey, Dinky, thank you. Uh, ten minutes is all you need, man. Ten minutes... Well, ten minutes is all I need, and I'm glad that you're here. This is awesome. AZ is at a... You're at a pub? Dude, you're signed in from a pub? I guess that is the glory of uh, data. I haven't had a data plan on my phone in uh, five years, everybody. You believe that? Let's change this again. My uh, my friends don't like this very much, but I don't have data because I'm home so often I can use Wi-Fi for everything, so... It always startles me when people are doing stuff like that out in the real world. Uh, King Nike. Uh, which is kind of sad because you do have a life outside mystery recapped. Well, for a while I didn't, because <laughs> I mean the pandemic really like shut everything down, right? Like I couldn't even see my friends when I wanted to. Um, it really shattered like most of the relationships that I had. Fortunately, everything is starting to piece itself back together. Um, I'm feeling a lot better these days, a lot happier about the way things are going. And f you know, in Canada, we get like three days, around three days of sun a year. So we're, we're on our second one today. So I actually got to go outside and, and receive some of that sun. And that just, in addition to a light burn, that gave me some really good feelings. So I'm just, some of these songs are just so outrageous. Oh, 
Hold on, let me just... Why don't I just turn my headphones down? There we go. What am I thinking? Can you guys even hear the music anymore? I've just been, <laughs> I've just been turning that down the whole time. Oops. Here, I'm going to show you guys in a sec. I'll show you how I've got the, the switch hooked up. Because I want you guys to let me know if this is... Um, if I did this correctly. This was what took me the longest yesterday, was getting the audio working on... Um, on the pass through with no lag. I'm very hopeful that uh, it's all gonna work just fine so that we can just hang and run around Hyrule a bit together tonight. I'm just trying to sync this controller again. Isn't this cool, by the way? Look at this thing. I'm obsessed with this thing. I, I bought it years ago and I'd never used it until yesterday. I was I remembered I had it. It's called an 8-bit dough and it's like a Super Nintendo controller. You can see it's got like the exact form factor of the old SNES controller. But then it's got the paddles like a PlayStation 1 controller, which makes it ergonomically pleasing to hold on to. Um, and it like feels good to play, and it's actually got the motion in it, the motion sensors in it, just like the Joy-Cons do for Switch. So it's like a really, really good. I feel like 8-Bit Doe should, should sponsor me. <laughs> no, no. We won't get into that just yet. Yeah, vitamin D is the happy vitamin, man. I, I've been actually just like eating like handfuls of vitamin D every day when I couldn't go out in the sun. Canada is so rough, dude. I like global warming's happening, so we're getting some weird warm weather earlier than usual. I will I will say that much. But like overall, it's pretty it's pretty shit here. If you come visit a place like Toronto during like the one month that it's kind of nice out and it's not like uh you know, it's not like um the hell am I trying to say? It's not rainy or or humid or snowy. It's like actually just clean weather like it is today. Then you'd you'd be like, oh my god, like of course you want to live here. But I don't know. We just go into hibernation for like long periods of time. Uh, can be fun to learn. Can enable TTS if you need something verbal. I think I do have TTS enabled for either subscriptions or donations. But I I. I was just trying to set everything up ahead of time, but I didn't... I mean, I like this is the first stream I've ever done, so I don't even think I have a, uh, like access to either of those things. I don't think it's even an option. Not that I would want to ask you guys to do it anyway, because I still... I got to figure out how often I can I can be on here, but uh, I thought that that was... It's really funny the way the text-to-speech voice comes in. <laughs> I actually like it a lot. I think you get to choose what it says, too. Who needs to sleep? I didn't even know you could get a phone plan without data these days. So you, I, you usually you can't. I just have had the same plan for years, and I keep calling them and asking them to strip it down, strip it down. Like I, I don't need anything but text. I don't need anything but text. My phone's basically just a computer in my pocket, and I finally got it down to. Uh, I pay like twenty-seven dollars a month for my phone, which is wild. Twenty-seven Canadian, mind you. Uh, so I told my uh, tax guy the other night how much I paid for the whole year for my phone. And he was like, well, so that's for one month or? <laughs> that's one way that you can save money if you're a hermit. If you're a Schmeagol. And you don't go anywhere, do anything. You just, you just chill and you're just wired up to, you know, I have like one, two. Okay, two is not very impressive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at least eight screens in this room right now. I'm just constantly bouncing between them and like I don't know if my I don't know if I have ADD or what, but I like my attention spans nuts. So I'm I'm constantly bouncing around and I stay feeling fulfilled and like I'm getting stuff done just by bouncing between screens. But in reality, I'm not doing anything. The day ends, I'm like, "Oops, I didn't go outside. Oops, I didn't cook dinner." <laughs> but I feel like I got a bunch done just cuz I'm I don't know. Technology is ruining us, guys. It's ruining us. Let me see here. And here, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through more of this chat in a sec. I just I'm sorry, I'm getting so caught up in this, and I just want to show you guys what we're gonna do today. Eventually, so here we're gonna try this transition. Let's kill this. Okay, so let me know. Can you, A, you know, see the game? Let me move myself down. Oops. Move myself down a bit. I had a little text thing there, but um, I got rid of it. So, here's here's Zelda. 
<laughs> some of you may know may know it uh can you guys like see, does it look and can you hear the hear the uh the game audio coming through the sound the pitter the distinct pitter patter of the rain can you hear it let me know if it's uh you can hear the audio that's great you can hear the rain you can hear my voice still looks and sounds great dude amazing okay i'm so i'm so pl <laughs> i'm so pleased with this I had so many issues yesterday and a couple of my good friends jumped into like test streams with me and we finally got it to a point that I felt comfortable with it. So uh, here, let me just, I'll answer a couple more of you guys questions and then, um, and then we'll start playing some Zelda. I can't wait to talk about this game because I almost made a video about it. I almost made like a review or like a, like a deep thoughts video about it. I've never done one of those before, but I'm like, I just so, it's making my imagination fire on so many cylinders that I feel like I have to talk about it. And that's ultimately why I'm here. It's what finally inspired me to stream. I know that we've talked about this forever, but it was it was this game that made me feel like, okay, I have to like, I just have to get online and have an adventure with everybody. <laughs> like I don't like, I'll do some horror games and stuff like that too. I know that's what like has always done best on the YouTube channels. And that will be fun as well, of course. But Zelda just kind of feels like, like I've had, I've had some nights with it where I feel like my brain's melting and my imagination is on fire. And I just like one really, really cool thing will happen and it'll give me like chills. And then I'll just turn back to the open world and I'll be so excited to, to do more. It's like suddenly like every cool thing that happens makes the rest of it feel better and better. And um, I've, I've found some stuff that like I didn't think in a million years I would find and it, like it's, it's wild. And I didn't even like Breath of the Wild. Which is what makes this even crazier for me. Is it's a, just a much better game. Uh, okay, let me read some more. Uh, read some of the chat. See what you guys are saying. Holy shit! This is a, you guys are active. You're all you're bouncing around in here. Hold on. Three days son of a year. Sign me up. You don't you don't want to know. That's more in the UK. Verdict Jester, what part of the UK are you from? I I lived in uh, London, England for a year. And um, everyone kept telling me that it was going to be rainy and gray and crap all the time. And it was beautiful. Like, well, maybe that was my mood bringing that up. But that was, that was a year that I really got to cut loose and, and just be free. I was, I was out with some friends playing music and living in a pub. Uh, and it was just a crazy good year. And like, I don't know, we were, we were going out to all the major parks. And um, I'd take the tube, the tube, to a different spot every day and, and check out bridges and shopping districts and like we loved the areas like camden town that had lots of music going on maybe you're not from england though maybe a different part of the is england even a part of the uk anymore or how does that work what's what's up with uh what happened with old boris i i, I haven't been keeping up I, I got enough trouble at home you know hold on oh you could hear one winged angel yeah i had the sephiroth song going on earlier chloe just be nice. I have sun like every day of the year, especially terrible rainy days, and it burns. <laughs> uh, the sun absolutely wrecks me, dude. It, it, like, because I get it so infrequently, and because I have, you know, I've kind of just like committed myself to not getting sun like all my life, and it's been long enough now that I don't think my skin is gonna like learn a new trick, you know. So I don't know what's what I can't remember what it's called. There's like something in your pores. Some people have a lot of it, some people don't. It allows you to tan more easily. I don't have whatever the hell it is. Melatonin or something? I don't have it. Uh, so I, I just go straight from Banshee to like crab mode, like um, uh, immediately. So today I went out, I went for a run and I, I sat in the sun for like two songs. I listened for like 10 minutes and I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. I didn't mean to say that. Uh, but I burnt anyway. <laughs> That's just the way of the road. When you're, uh, when you've got Irish blood. You like the controller, Dicky? Thank you. Dicky's probably gone by this point, and he only had a couple minutes. But, uh, yeah, this is a really, it's called an 8-bit Doe SN30 Pro Plus. It's a sweet controller, man. Haven't finished Breath of the Wild, but I've been seeing people play Tears of the Kingdom, and I get that FOMO. Yeah, man, I, I think that's why I bought it, even though I was like, well, I didn't like Breath of the Wild, and I should stick to my guns on that. Like, there's enough good options for games to play. Like, Jedi Survivor just came out. I really wanted to play that, too, and I will later, but there's something about Zelda where, like, it was just it was just eating so much mind share. Like, everyone who plays games was talking about it in one way or another, and I just felt like 
I have no choice. I, I have to try it. And so I went all the way to the store. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm so lazy now. Uh, like, it's a, it's a rarity for me to go buy something physical. I just buy them digital usually. But I went to get it physical just in case. I didn't like it. I figured I can resell it for like 10 bucks less online probably if I, if I hate it. Um, but it just got it like... I'd say the first couple times I played it, I was like, ah, it's like Breath of the Wild. I, what am I, what did I expect? Like, this isn't going to be any better. And then it just took off. It took off and it's nuts. It's a, it's a great game. I really, I really recommend it. And when we, when we play it in just a minute here, I'll, I'll, I'll explain why. My brother was telling me earlier today, he was helping me test the stream. He was telling me that you guys would probably want like, special emojis or something? Is that a thing? Like a different plugin? <laughs> like not real Twitch, but like Twitch probably I don't know, Twitch Plus, Twitch Prime, I don't know. So that so that you can use like funnier faces and, and shit? I don't know. Let, let me know if that's a thing. Let me know if anything's a thing with Twitch that you're you're seeing like, okay Adam, you you can you can, good for you, you can talk. But like this isn't usually how Twitch is. Like let me know if there's anything I should add to like a a laundry list of uh, fun new features. <laughs> I know I never did that for Discord. Everyone asked me for stuff on Discord. I just gave up. I mean, I, I cannot figure Discord out. But I will be able to. I'll be able to figure Twitch out. We'll, we'll we'll figure it out. King Nike's uncle is from Toronto. Good man. I like uncles are cool. Uh, your uncle. I'm sure your uncle's a a sick dude and probably likes Toronto as well. Do you know where in Toronto? I'll, find, I'll go find your uncle and shake his hand. Give me the cold, please. Narwhal, I do not understand. I mean, I used to say winter was my favorite season, but uh, I, now that I get so much of it, it's like, I don't know. Snow was fun when you were a little child. Yeah, you're a little chud and your mom puts you in your fucking, your, your big pants and stuff and you go through, like, roll snowballs and whatever. And that was cool because it was like, what is this stuff? I still don't really know what it is. I, the, the science of it all escapes me, but I'm just so goddamn sick of it. It doesn't, it, it doesn't enthuse me the same way it used to. Lucifer Lannister. Hey, it's Gore. What's up? What's up, Gore? Thank you for joining. This is so, this is so cool. I'm getting so many people in here. Um, I'm so glad that you guys had time. I, I, I know that our time zones are all over the world, and so it's going to be very hard for me to pick times to stream consistently. I think I'll probably just jump into this whenever I'm like feeling it. You know what I mean? Like if it could be in the morning, when I'm actually when I'm actually within my rights to have a coffee. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll I'll try all over the all over the place so that you guys you know who knows when you might get a notification and we can hang out a little bit. Um, all right, I think we're closing in it. We're closing in up north near Newcastle. I never made it north. I made it south a few times and was in like more forested regions and met some cool people that lived I take I don't know. I just be on trains all day sometimes. Like you just, three trains in a row and suddenly you're 20 hours away, but like it's easy to get home. We don't really have that in Ontario the same way. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. I love the transit in in uh, England. Unless when you by you say up north, you don't even you might not even mean England. I don't know. Newcastle sounds English. That sounds like a British thing. Newcastle. Newcastle. I. Bruv. Me from Newcastle. Holy shit. That was not. <laughs> sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can't. I'm sorry. Ocarina of Time was my favorite Zelda. Probably ever. But I don't know. Tears of the Kingdom might take it. We'll find out. We'll see if it can hold up the quality. The, the bar that it has set for itself. Oh, melanin. Not melatonin. That's right. Yeah, Camden Town is cool. I uh, went to hang around with the zombie punks. My, I used to be a zombie punk for for a little while. I was a zombie punk in Camden Town, and it was a uh, it was a fun it was a fun vibe. Chloe, you finished Jedi Survivor. How was it? Was it good? Was it better than uh, Fallen Order? I I beat Fallen Order years back, and I I've I've heard it's like better in every way. So I I cannot wait. I think only subs get to have special emojis. Okay, and I can't have, there can't be subs yet either, right? Because I have to become like an affiliate or a, a partner or I have to like become Twitch's bitch. Is that the, I think that's the um, official phrase. I become a Twitch bitch and then, <laughs> and then they can start taking money from me. Um, 
but I'm not really thinking about that right now. It's just, it's, it means a crazy amount to me that this is just up and running and I'm, that I'm hanging out with you guys. Special plugins that give you more emojis, but the standard one won't kick in until you get to affiliate. Okay, affiliate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know someone who, despite as much sun as he gets, he will never not look like a ghost. That was, a, that was like a quadruple negative sentence, Narwhal, but I think I'm, I see what you're saying. And yeah, I'm one of those people. It doesn't really matter how much I ingest. Um, better TV. That might be... Nili, Niliu, that might be the one that's... Uh... Niliu, are you from uh, the LSM Discord? I feel like I recognize your name. If so, thank you for jumping in, man. And yeah, I think that's the one my brother was telling me to, uh, to check out. Um, all right. Okay. Let's, let's close this out. Or not close this out. Let's keep the chat going. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hop onto Zelda so that you guys are just staring at me. Let's bring down this music. Here we go. All right. Hey Steve, that's totally fine, man. Uh, if the Wi-Fi is being an asshole, I mean I I'm very familiar with asshole Wi-Fi, so I I completely understand. Don't worry about it. I hope that uh, you have a great night. Um, yeah, everyone everyone who's in Europe right now is up super late, and I apologize for that. I'll try an earlier one next time. All right. All right, let's kick it. Let's play a little Zelda. Okay, I have a couple things. God, it is raining. This is probably going to kill all my plans. I have a couple things in mind to show you guys. I like I, I've just lined up a couple things that... Uh, so we'll start with a shrine. I just parked my ass right up under this shrine here. So I can, anyone who hasn't seen this game, I just feel like you need to, uh, uh oh, I might not be able to get to that shrine. Oh, it's raining. Is this thing under the cover of the rain? Looks like it is. No, it's not. It's not. We're going to have to come back later. See, this is, this is why I didn't like Breath of the Wild. And, and it's one of the reasons that this game persists in being a, a bit of a dick. But hold on. You know what? I'm smarter than this. Um, well, no, I'm not. Because you can't make a fire in the rain either, right? I was thinking I could sit at a fire and wait. But if I can't make a fire either, then I'm totally, I'm totally <laughs> cocked by the rain. All right, hold on. That guy's got fire over there. You see that? Maybe he'll let us pass out. So what we're going to do is do a shrine so I can show you guys how big my brain is. And then we'll go up to a watchtower so that for anyone who hasn't seen it yet I'll show you how like you discovered new parts of the map in this game it's really fascinating and then there's a little town I want to go into maybe they'll give us something to do and the bottom line with this game is that uh, oh this isn't fire it's a lantern bottom line with this game is no matter what your plan is you get you get distracted you get you get derailed like immediately hello there you look like someone who enjoys purchasing items did you know that some merchants don't work on rainy days? I call them amateurs. <laughs> Real pros don't mind a little falling water. You simply go out there, stay dry, try not to get into uh, d despair. My wife left me. Aww. Eventually a customer will appear like you did. Uh, never mind. <laughs> After all, that, that was quite a pitch. There's a real fire. Let me see. We like staring at you. No, that's not creepy. I, I appreciate it, because I, I know that's the art of Twitch. That's all Twitch is, is just staring. So if uh, <laughs> if you don't mind, then that's good news. OK, let's rest till morning. We did it, everybody. We're going to get up that. We're going to get up that hill. Uh, the couch, Narwhal, the couch. My uncle gave me that couch. This is why I was saying uncles are cool people. Uh, you know, Uncle- or is it still storming? Dude, what have I done to deserve this? Let's, let's sleep for another whole day. This is like- Link is like me on the weekend right now. Um, yeah, my uncle gave me this couch when I moved here a couple years ago. After the pandemic ended, I was- I, I'd been like living at home with my uh, family and working remotely. And then I moved back out on my own. And I needed a couch and I couldn't find one. Couch stores? In Canada, it's like the worst, brickest looking shit couches you've ever seen. And regardless of anything, it'll be like $1,200 plus for a new one. So I was getting desperate. 
And then one day I was visiting my uncle. I passed down on his couch. I was like, "This is a nice couch." He was like, "You want it?" And I was like, "You gotta be, you gotta be effing kidding me, dude." So that was one of the best days of my life. And now it's there, and it, it is comfy. But as I'm getting older, I'm starting to realize that comfy is not always a good thing. So if you fall, asleep, if I fell asleep on it on Friday night, and I woke up with a with a pinched nerve in my back, <laughs> so it actually hurt me. The couch is against me at times. You can climb in the rain with a certain armor set. That's dope. I'll definitely be on the lookout for that. I've got a couple cool armor sets, but I don't know if I just want to like go through them and show them off to you guys because I don't know how many of you might be playing this game yourselves, and I don't want to just like, you know, like obviously this is this is spoilers for where I'm at in the game, period. But like I don't I I want to spoil as little as I can because some of the discoveries I've made, as much as I want to talk about them, I feel like it's best to just we'll discover what we discover together. You know what I mean? Uh, Yeah, it is. It's very easy to get sidetracked. And I actually love it in this game, though, because it does the Elden Ring thing where, well, I guess it's the Breath of the Wild thing, really. It came first. It deserves the due. But, like, the whole, like, your map isn't littered with icons. It's just get out there and have fun. Discover. Explore. Take notes on pen and paper if you really want to. People in towns will... A bouncy device. People in towns will be like, Have you been to the south of Gerudo Bay? I heard that if you tickle the apple tree on the southwestern quadrant, a horse god will come by and give you a hand job, and the next thing you know, you'll be in a secret. <laughs> and then, like, it doesn't make a mark on your map. They just told you that. So if you want that hand job, you have to remember. Hey, thank you for following. I missed who that was. I'm so. Uh, wait, no, but I have a dock for this. Wait for it. Twitch activity feed. Vagablon. Vagablon! Wonderful surprise seeing you here during my morning poop. Well, I hope it's a I hope it's a long one, buddy, because uh, I'd love for you to hang around a little bit. For uh, for those of you guys who um, may remember the older YouTube videos when I did the uh, the Diablo series with uh, my friend Jay, who is the narrator for a different recap channel at the time. Uh, that's Vagablon. He's here. He's with us. He's among us. Dude, now I know why... Uh, now I know why my the streamers I like to watch never read my messages. It's really... I don't want to just do goddamn nothing in the game. What do I do with this? Does anybody know? Whoa! Yes! See, this is one of the things I love about the creativity present in the puzzle design in this game is stuff like that happens all the time. You see, you encounter something you've never seen before, but you get, you, the, usually the first idea you have will either work or it'll get you halfway there. Where are we going? Here we go. This is so cool. So, the shrines in this game have actually been, like, a total, like, one of my favorite parts, and I feel like that should probably be obvious because they're such a huge part of the game. But they were too huge a part of the game in in Breath of the Wild. It was like kind of the only thing that you could do. Um, hold on, if I don't focus, I'm gonna look like a goddamn idiot. Uh-oh, do these not reset? No. Right, wait. Can, you, can you feel the gears turning in my brain? Yes! Works both ways. No, stay! Stay, Butch. I can't- I can't stick it to it, otherwise it won't move when I... Okay, I just have to be faster. I just have to stop being cute. Hold on a sec. Oh, I overshot it, but that's alright. It's coming back! It's coming back! Hole in one. Friggin', that was a sassy puzzle. So yeah, in Breath of the Wild, it was kind of like, here's a, you know, kudos to... What? 
kudos to Nintendo for making a, a very fully realized giant of an open world. Like I'm talking giant. But it was that was the problem. It was too giant. It was too vast. There weren't enough points of interest throughout. And so I felt like the whole game time I was playing Breath of the Wild. My whole like point of existing was just to go from one shrine to the next. And then I didn't at the end of the day I didn't find the shrines to be all that exciting. So it was kind of like, well, what is there for me in this game? And the ability set wasn't that neat. But now, these abilities, the God Hand ability, the, the Fuse ability, the Ascension ability, all of it is just unbelievably cool. And the applications for these abilities are seemingly endless. And Nintendo designed it that way, and they know that. And so they're just unbelievably... Uh, talented and cre they're creative geniuses at just giving you something different every time you enter one of these shrines. So I've been absolutely loving them. And then they've also done like maddening wonders with the, with the rest of the open world. There's so much more to it. They've they've really filled in all of their the blanks this time around. Like what am I swinging right now? This is a sword with a boomerang fused to the tip of it, just to make it look extra mean. And I'll tell you, those Bokoblins, they... They shit their pants every time I come running. Wait a second. Am I supposed to get higher? Hold on. Hold on, we need the other spring. We're gonna triple it. Triple it like McDonald's. All right, all right. Okay. Okay. Climbing. This might be a little, a little, a little poorly crafted. Okay, who's got ideas for me? Who's, who's got, uh... Oh, hey, Centeno, thank you, man. I appreciate your help uh, earlier with uh, getting this set up, and thanks for jumping in to, to check it for me. That's awesome. The uncle is goaded. <laughs> oh, that uncle is yeah. My my uncle my uncle Robbie with his uh, with his couch his couch offering. He offered it to the gods. The uh, the bachelor gods, and I was the recipient of the. I'm gonna have to make an offering myself one of these days. Um, who's got an idea for me? Because I'm not understanding this. I feel like, well, I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Hold on. Let's just, let's just do this a little bit more. Neat. Okay, line them up exactly. Well, actually, to do that, I'm gonna have to shut them. Okay, Link, let's not get too excited, buddy. Do I need to go over there and bring back the other one somehow? Tell me no. There's no chance, right? Oops. Springs go launch launch. I agree. I think you're onto something. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out if they really do go launch launch though. Oops. Use that. Use that. Okay, this is it. If this doesn't work, I give up. I'm ending the stream. Oh, uh, no, okay, I, I was just kidding, I... Wait, there isn't anything in here. I thought that that was an opening, but now it's not looking like an opening no more. Oh! Holy sh... Okay, so th that door just opened so I could grab a couple extra springs. Where the hell's the exit? I'm feeling like I'm stuck in the the page master right now. I think it's where I got the other. Ch Hold on. <laughs> Do this the long way around. Okay. Yeah, the green glow could uh, could be what we're looking for. Yeah, it was just right above where I was earlier. Okay. See? See, I told you guys. A humongous brain. And, uh... None of these shrines have yet 
caused me any real trouble. <laughs> it's been good times all the way. I will never do the puzzles the game the way the game intended if I can help it. That's that's what I like about this so much is that like I can't tell if the game intended me to do it the way like that one probably. I probably did that like the most van vanilla way you could have done it. I the one the one ability that I kind of fail to be super creative with is the uh the reverse ability. I feel like its applications are literally endless. I didn't like, you know how you see the blocks falling from the sky sometimes? I realized if you get to one of those right away and hit reverse on it, it'll just, you can just take yourself up to the clouds. Up to this, up to the infinity and beyond, baby. And then you'll have, like, typically you can access areas that you wouldn't have been able to otherwise. The whole, the whole game is, uh, uh oh, uh oh. One moment, I need to make sure I'm not gonna, okay, we're good. I'm not gonna get struck by lightning today. The whole game kind of feels broken, you know, in, in like a, and I'm sure I'm not saying anything that you haven't thought or, or heard before, but um, it feels like some of the abilities, especially the ascension ability, let's see if I can use it right here. Like chill. Uh, no, I guess I can't. It, like ascension doesn't feel like a game ability at all. It feels like a way for like a, a dev tester feels like part of their toolkit, just in case they get stuck. Okay, like, I want to get in there, but I... I don't know how I'm gonna do that, so... I would assume that... If I were to... Whoa! This is almost the end of me. I assume if I were if I were to use Ascension from underneath, but I would have to set up some sort of a platform for myself. Because that's way too high, right? Maybe the lightning will strike that tree and the whole thing will come down? That would be ridiculous. But, it, pretty much every time I've said that to myself while playing this, it's ended up being true. What the f- it's not even connected to anything. Hmm. Sort of hocus pocus bullshit is this? Alright, anyway, on to the next thing. I want to take you guys to that tower over yonder. Oh wait, I gotta in introduce you to my horse first. This horse and I, we've been through a lot together. And by that I mean, the horse has done jack shit and I've been through a lot alone, because the horse in this game sucks, let's be real. That was my least favorite thing about Breath of the Wild and they did nothing to improve on it in this game. It has terrible AI, it really doesn't come when you call it. I mean, I'll call it now, it'll make it, it'll come to me now. There he is. I've been waiting for you, sir. Thank God. This? is hoof paste. I've named him hoof paste because he looks like toothpaste. And I, I read that the, um, oops, god damn it. I read that the solid colored horses in this game are much faster and more reliable. So, the thing that weirds me out about this though, listen to that noise when Link whips him. It's, it sounds like it hurts, man. Link has killed Ganon in this life. Like, he's a strong bastard, and he's just whipping this horse. But then he goes... Ho, ho. Ho, ho. And the horse is like, I love you, man. <laughs> okay. It's, it's just a weird uh, back and forth, in my opinion. Just the whip and then the pat. Whip, whip, pat. But it's how you build a bond. And I suppose there are some relation... Oh, I'm not gonna go there. I'm just not gonna go there. Shut up! See, look, this is my best buddy in the world, and he's kicking me off. Why? I was just, I was just practically kissing him on the lips a second ago. What's your problem, hoof paste? Oh well, I. Same goes to you, asshole. <laughs> all right, let's let's do it again. Let's do it all again. All right, let me see if I can. Read and read and ride at the same time. I can't figure it out after 30 minutes. I haven't gotten that stuck on a puzzle yet. Some of them are like very respectably challenging, but I haven't gotten like like stuck stuck. Like I haven't given up or looked up a solution online yet. Horse need the horse needs therapy. Well, I am the horse's therapist and his uh, aggressor. That's the 
the weird duality of, of Link. The horses are usable. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you develop a bond, and then you can check them in at a stable, and then you can pick them up from wherever you want. But the thing that bothers me is you have to go way out of your way to get to these stables to pick them up, and then ride them back to whatever you're trying to get to. And then the second you hit, like, not even a cliff's edge, the, the slightest incline or decline, the horse is like, nope. Hell no, man. Like, he'll buck back, and you just can't get him to go over, like, the slightest rock, and then you gotta leave him behind, and it's like, why did I even go get him? Anyway. Yeah. Did you come to see the Skyview Tower? Oh. My apologies, it looks like we have a small problem over here. What's going on? Oh. I heard that the terminal at this Skyview Tower needed repairs, so I came to fix it, but... Mm. The door won't open. I have no clue why. I got bombs, dude. Just step aside. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge, no matter how hard I push or pull. And of course, I know it's a sliding door. That's what I meant, obviously. Shh. <sighs> I worked up an appetite getting my brain into gear for this. I bet the nearby caves would have some tasty mushrooms. The fuck do mushrooms have to do with this, dude? To open the door. Yeah, there are caves at the bottom of the hill. I used to go mushroom hunting in them all the time when we were building the tower. Do you want me to bring you mushrooms? Or like that? That wasn't even really a... You didn't even ask a question. I think this guy's on mushrooms already. Alright, fine. Oh, maybe he's trying to tell me that I can, uh... Ascend up through the cave to get up into the tower, and then I'll open it from the other side. That's that's the kind of trickery that I that I really love in this game. Here we go. Look at this. Yeah. Ah! Oh yeah. Give me those. Give me those goods. I wish I'd killed much more of them. <laughs> They're scared of me. I think the horse just said stop. <laughs> hey, butthead. Hey, hey, Liam, how you doing? Thanks for coming. Thanks for checking it out. Should have named him Glue. I didn't want to go that far, because I... Isn't that like... Don't, don't, don't farmers murder horses for their glue or something like that? Isn't that sort of like an animal cruelty thing? I didn't want to go that far. I just wanted to make a cute joke about toothpaste, you know what I mean? Yeah, who needs to sleep? Yeah, like the horse not dealing is very much like me in the real world, but I don't want to be reminded of my own faults when I'm playing Zelda, you know? There was Bilson who was talking, then I realized it was Adam. Oh, <laughs> thanks, King. Saw the train into Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, the game has some voice recordings, like some of the cinematics. It's weird. It'll like, it'll be one shot of a character, and they'll be like, "Oh, Link," and then it'll load for ten seconds, and then he'll just be, it'll just be text again. So, I like doing the voices. It just kind of makes the game come to life in my own mind. Yeah, the obtuse hints are what make me love this as well. Glue is made from the stuff that binds their hoofs to their legs. That's so wild. I've seen, I don't know why, and I don't, I'm, I'm hesitant to even say this out loud because all my devices are listening and I'm sure to see it again if I say it, but I've had like YouTube videos recommended to me where it's just like paste being extracted from horse hooves. It's just the most like disturbing, like immediate image I can think of. Like, when you don't know what you're getting into, and like 10 seconds later, you're just seeing that, it's, it's... Jesus. There's a lot of rocks, man. We'll get through it. Horse paste is, is gross, okay? And that's another reason that I didn't want to name... ...my horse after it. I didn't want to remind myself of that day I saw that video. Once was enough. Holy sh... Okay, wait, let's let's prepare, let's prepare. Okay, I'm prepared. Alright. So one of the coolest things about this game, for those of you who, who haven't seen it, is the fusion works basically in every way, including with your bow and arrow. So every time you draw an arrow, you can fuse any item that you've picked up in the world to it. So this the thing that sucks about it is like the list kind of goes for too long. Like it kind of goes for way too long. And ultimately, most of these items don't. Look at how many things I have. Link's got deep pockets. Link's got Mary Poppins pockets. 
but only a few of them actually do something I've found. So I, I haven't been too creative. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? These new enemies, they're called, they're called Horriblins. They're the scariest enemies in the game. They have a, they have a body language to them that is like very sexual predator, if you know what I'm, I, I don't, I don't even know what I mean by that, but just wait here. Like, let me just go in here and let him chase me around a little bit. Watch this guy go. Oh, there's two of them, and one of them's blue. What is happening? They're terrifying. Oh, shit, I'm in the water. And when they get up on the ceiling, man, it's when they get up on the- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch them. There's three of them! Get it! Come on! Oh, dude, I dummied them. Oh, yeah. This just- this must be a lower level zone than where I was earlier. Because they were- they were taking a lot more than that before. And they make that noise. They make that noise. Did he just drown? <laughs> I haven't seen that before. If anyone deserved it, it's a horrible. I'll take the I'll take the drowning. I mean, I would have preferred to kill him. It would have been faster if Link had hit him over the head with a club, you know? Or like hit him with a like a flux core two pounder. You know? That probably would have ended his life pretty quick. Drowning is a lot worse, but the guy kind of did it to himself. Let's see what's in here. Thank you, Lena, uh, for saying that about the voices. That's, um... I used to do that out loud to myself, even when there was no audience, or I had never done it for anybody. I would read out loud. To, I still, to this day, I read out loud myself. To myself, I make voices, and I don't know what it is. When I'm just silent and reading, I'm bored. I, I get bored. I can't keep up. Uh, I lose track. I start skipping things. But if I start like accentuating and trying to figure out how that was written to be delivered, suddenly the world is twice as vibrant, in my opinion. So I'm a, I'm a, I don't know which one of these I want to drop, but I want this thing. A small Sheikah made shield. Its design is intended to decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense. De I don't even know what that means. It's just a better shield, I guess. Um, okay. One sec. So, what if I break whatever this is attached to? I can't. Oh, it's not even fused to anything? Oh, well, hold on. Uh, wait. This is my- this is my brain at work, one sec. Okay, I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna switch to this. And then I'm gonna fuse it. Yeah! Okay, now we're cooking. With gas. We're talking Dragon Bone Boko, Shield of the Mind's Eye, welded to the front for some reason. I've not, I've yet not, I've not yet figured out the point of these, <laughs> these sh fused shields. I don't even use the shield enough, to be honest, in the first place. Uh, I always forget. And also, when you have your weapon out, and there's an enemy coming at you, if you hit the shield button, you just prepare yourself. You don't draw the shield. So you have to go, shield button, put weapon away button. To get the- I always forget to do that and I get- I get hit anyway, so. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. I'd prefer you think I'm good at this game. That would be more fun. Use the meat arrows? Okay, just for you. Next time. Oh my god, see how far we have to go? We're gonna fire a raw bird drumstick at somebody next time, alright? Next time we bump into somebody. Yeah, I, I actually had never seen one drown before either. That was really a. Uh, to be honest, it, it kind of hurt. It kind of hurt me a little bit, and now I'm struggling to uh, keep up a keep on a brave face for this stream. I, it it really. Now I'm just thinking about drowning. I thought you said in my cell for a moment there. I can't remember what I did say. I may as well have said in my cell. You can linger, did you tell. <laughs> you linger all you want. And yeah, somewhat, it's decent gas. It's not good, it's not like diesel. But it's at least premium. Unless premium is higher than diesel. 
personally, I've never purchased either. Okay, so we want to jump into that from below. So let's try to map out how far in we have to go. I think I need to get through this one. Good thing I got a thick... I put this stone on a thick root. Otherwise, they usually break a lot faster than this. What I like about these caves that, that are just, like, rife with rocks... Because you'd think this would be a pain in the ass with breakable weapons. Like, why would this be a good idea? But they're constantly re releasing rocks and sometimes randomly, like, swords. Hey, Lucifer. Thank you for following me. I promise, if you f I will not lead you astray. I may lead you into a few idiotic corners, but I will not lead you wholly astray. Um, okay, so we've been here. Let's try ascending right now. Moment of truth, let's see how good my calculus is. Oh, there's my horse. <laughs> Shit, I missed. Okay, back, back, back. I forgot you could go back. That makes this really nice. Okay, so we gotta go a little further this way, I think. No, that doesn't make sense. We'll find it, we'll find it. Some point. Oh, so close. Okay, but to get closer, I feel like I have to be inside of the wall. Does that make sense? Um, okay, we're gonna do something that I wouldn't advise you guys do. This is dangerous. Okay, that was just... Just to get the, the ones cleared off the ceiling so that we can try this again. And, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it looks. What? I'm further away? Oh, so pretty pretty close. I, I feel like it would be pretty well marked, no? Oh, maybe where the mushrooms are? Remember the guy said, like, oh, you should go get me some mushrooms, bitch. Uh, hold on. Maybe they will, they, they will guide my hand. I don't know for sure, though. Yeah, it's, almost, it's honestly, it's like too many boulders, but I did a thing... I did a thing in this game last night where I was about ready to go to bed and then I played for another three and a half hours or something because I found a, a tunnel that had just endless rock walls um, and I kept going, kept going, kept going and what I eventually found was the coolest thing I've seen in the game so far and just the way that it, the way that it, so, it like sometimes it doesn't really reward you, you'll go like way out of your way to a mountain or something and there's like nothing on top or you get like one Korok seed and you're like uh, but other times you discover the like the meaning of the the meaning of life according to Link. Um I, I feel like I'm not gonna figure this out, guys. Sometimes when you find the meaning of life, it's a it's a good vibe. Alright. See, this is what I this is what I was afraid of. This is not the kind of puzzle you want to be live streaming for. <laughs> it's so boring. <laughs> How are you guys doing? You guys, are you guys feeling, feeling, feeling fine? There's actually quite a few of you in the chat right now. I was expecting maybe three or four. Thank you for hanging with me, guys. If you have any, um, any questions for me or anything you want to talk about outside of Zelda, this is just the vehicle, right? I'm driving, but you're in the passenger seat, so... If you have anything you'd like to discuss, I'm, uh, I'm all ears this fine Sunday. This is uh, one of the nicer Sundays I've had in some time. Watch this. That looks kind of cool. Whoa! It's just a white light, but it's bouncing. It's adopting whatever the color this is giving off. Well, that's science. Speaking of science, <laughs> that's pretty cool, right? How the hell do I get up into this tower? Maybe it's where I killed the Horriblins. I haven't been back there yet somehow. Where's the Horriblin chamber? Yeah, here we go. 
Okay, so let's say that... So maybe it's where the chest was? You'd feel like it would be marked somehow. Are those mushrooms? It just looks like chunks of meat. You know? Like, uh... Someone's been torn... Like, the Horriblins, you can imagine what they do with their victims once they've got them. In their... In, back home with them, you know? In their cave. Alright, let's check here. Please be what I'm looking for. Mama. Are we further than ever? We are so much further than ever. Do we give up on this? I mean, there's a lot. There's other places we can go. Who needs to sleep? You did this today. Do, do, am I on the right track? At least. Are we? It, like, am I wasting time, or like, am I gonna get get there eventually? Do you think? Use. You've got. You use incension in here. Yeah. But. But. I feel like I should be able to get through this wall. Like, I need to be right there. So maybe I... Hold on, let's just break a couple more things and, um... Grab one of these. Nope. The way I had envisioned this, I was gonna turn the stream on. <gasps> oh, we're doing it! Oh, this is how, this is, this is how dreams come true. Let me in. Hell yeah, it's a booble frog. Kill the booble frog. Die, booble frog. They die so horribly, but they give you these booble gems that apparently, I haven't figured out who buys or you know, sniffs the booble gems. But apparently, I don't know, it's valuable in some way, shape, or form. Don't tell me if you know, don't tell me if you know. I'm excited to find out. But it's kind of funny that to acquire the booble gems, you have to murder these really, like, dumb, innocent-looking frogs. <laughs> and when you shoot them with arrows, they ragdoll. And I've, uh, I've ragdolled a few off of, like, high cliffs. And it's, um, it's, it's insane. Okay, this is it. We've, we've, we've done it. Some booble frog deaths have, that I've seen have been highlight, highlight real material for sure. Yes! Thank you guys. Thank you guys for chilling with me through that one. That was, uh, that was a big one. That was a victory. We all... That was a victory for all of us. Oh, do I open the door for this guy? Surprise, motherfucker. Huh? How'd you get inside? I'll tell you all about it later. I can't open it, still. I figured it'd be a- oh. Since you're inside, can you open the door? Is there anything strange near it? Oh, that looks strange. This long stick is strange. And that long stick is strange. What if I- What if I fuse two long sticks? Okay, I'm just- I'm just thinking out loud here. Um, double long stick. And then, can I poke something? There's gonna be something to poke. I'm almost sure of it. I can't go up that. That's just a chimney. An endless chimney. As much as Link may or may not have a history of climbing in chimneys. I don't know. What what is this what is this dude? Oh hold on, what, what if I drop it and then I pick it up? And then I feed it through for this guy. No? <laughs> Come on, Nintendo, reward my creativity. Shit guys, are we stuck again? Come on. Link is a little shite, yeah. This is hot. Link's a little shite. Dude, the booble gems are very worth whatever that emoji is you posted, Narwhal. I've never seen that in my life. It's freaking me out a little bit, but I actually kind of love it. It's a happy dinosaur. That's that's how that happy dino's face is exactly how I feel when I get to touch a booble gem. 
<laughs> Longer stick? Dude, what? This is why- What?! What? Oh, the, the sticks were blocking it. I can't believe a couple of sticks caused all this hassle. I wonder if those were in there to begin with and just fell over somehow, or if some monster did that on purpose. <laughs> Either way, that really helped. Thank you. Well, what are you going to leave now? Mm. The mechanisms aren't working quite right. Just give them a bit of oil. Uh. Bit of oil. Ta-da! It wasn't a big problem, so a little oil cleared it right up. Right, I'm going to hurry on ahead, so this is goodbye. Where are you going? Kind of felt to me like you wanted to be here. Okay, let's pick this up again. Long stick stick. I feel like this is the, uh, the weapon of the night. Beware. Long stick stick. Right. Usually I skip this, but I'm gonna let it play so you guys can see it. It's kind of crazy. I love the, the graphics in this game. And like, no, fidelity-wise, they're shit, I know. And uh, I'm kind of surprised that this game got such a pass on its bad fidelity because so many modern games get that really harshly judged in that in that uh, light. But it's just the, the way that, like the cel-shaded stuff and the way the lighting works and the different times of day, the way the colors change. I was uh, on top of a mountain once and uh, the sun was setting and the sky turned pink. Uh, I, I think I, I think I peed my pants. I wasn't really paying attention. I think I pissed myself. Out of like sheer beauty, beautiful. Okay, check this out. This is something I, this is something I truly enjoy in this game. He brings a seven million foot Ethernet cable with him up on a spool, <laughs> plugs it into his Nintendo Switch. And then looks and then plays Zelda on it while he's in midair, and somehow that <laughs> unlocks the map. Okay, wow. Oh, we got some more sky stuff going on. So sorry, light spoilers if you haven't seen this game yet, but um, there are there are sky islands. Uh, so Breath of the Wild had one surface, just the surface, and so if you weren't walking or running on a horse towards a shrine. You weren't really doing anything. That was the whole game, as far as I can remember. This game is like, oh, you, if you're tired of running on the surface, you know, head up to the sky. There's a whole different set of challenges up there that are a totally different type. Or you can go, and I won't tell you until we see it. There's another area you can go with its own thing as well. It's fast. It's absolutely fascinating. Um, I, I really, really, really love this game. We'll see if we can get to a skyland right now. Let's see if, uh, if I'm within reach of one. Sometimes, uh, yeah, yeah, watch this. Okay, let's just, let's just park up on this one over here and, and take a look around. See that accuracy, everybody? That comes from years of being a virgin. Okay. Let's see what you guys talking about. That emote is a sub emote that you can only use if you're subbed to the person. Really? But you can't be subbed to me yet, can you? I don't think. I don't think that's a thing yet. Be a lot cooler if it was. The aesthetic holds together well and that does it so many favors. Exactly, it's consistent, right? All of the ideas all of the ideas presented by this game in terms of the systems, the art direction, the the gameplay, everything, um, it it's cohesive. It feels like one solid world, and no matter where you choose to go in a day, you're going to be grinding some sort of item out of something that can be then used somewhere else later, and you're kind of just always becoming stronger and, and bolstering your ability to explore. So it's like not only are you better in combat, or like less likely to die, or you can climb higher, but like it actually dramatically changes the way that you explore consistently. It's it's absolutely incredible this game. Um, what if Link drops the switch, dude? Don't even make me think about that because if I ever drop my switch, you know, I probably wouldn't want to buy. I probably wouldn't buy another one. <laughs> it's a king. It's an because it's an ancient switch. I think they describe it. Hold on, you're asking uh, if this game is in ancient times. Like, how does Bro have a switch? Well, 
in the beginning of the game, we visited this tomb and they talked about how there are aliens from the sky that bring hyper technology to our ancient pedestrian world, our uh, Neanderthal-esque kingdom. So it's basically like what happened in real life <laughs> when the aliens made the pyramids, if you, you know? Art imitates life, imitates art, imitates history. Um, ancient civilization had switches. Yeah, because of the aliens. Does that make this game our future? Th that's That I haven't figured out yet. I don't know if this is in our future yet. I feel I feel like it's a maybe. It's a strong maybe. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go back down to the surface soon enough to visit a, a village. But I want to see if we can make it to. I want to see if we can make it to um, the bigger sky island over there. Hold on. Surely I can look over the edge. I can't look over the edge, dude. All right. Well, I'm gonna drop on that shrine later. I really like the way the game allows you to go. Well, it's not letting me do it now. Performance anxiety, I guess. But uh, it allows you to kind of cast a glance around with a telescope, and then if you like something you see, you can pin you can put a pin down on the map. And it shows you exactly where it is. Come on, little bird man. Little uh, Demi. I don't. I can't remember what his name is. I met him in a a village, and now his like. I ripped his soul out of his body so that he can come with me. And uh, I can't remember his name, so I call him... Jesus, look at him go. I call him Dimitri. And he's terrifying. I never know if he's truly got my back. Oh. What do we have here? What the hell is this? Oh. I get it. <laughs> Come along now. Okay, like, okay. There's gonna be a... Okay, so I gotta get that crystal... ...to... ...here. And the, the last time I did one of these, it took me a long time. <laughs> so, just warning you. However, I think I... I kind of figured out a tactic... Uh, ...in doing so. So, hold up a second. This one's weirder to, to control, though. Okay. We're gonna hold it here for a while. And you, bear with me. You'll see. And then we're going to hold it here for a while. And then we're gonna bring it back here for a while. Okay, and now we're gonna run. This is one of those. This is one of those applications for the rewind function that I just find so badass, and I just can't even believe they made the whole world. Oh my god! You really have to snipe this. Let me get on it. Okay, so it's gonna bring me back to where I placed it earlier. And I'm gonna stop it. Okay, and it'll remember where. I think it remembers where it left off. I know all about the beam. This isn't my... This is not my first beam. North Nakluta. I don't really know where we are. I mean, we unlocked the, the map, but I haven't checked. Okay. So now... I'm gonna get myself in position. And really, I'm just gonna really hope this works out. Because if it doesn't, it just takes so long to reset. <laughs> okay. Take me home. Yes! Okay, stop there. Oh no! Oh, you son of a... I have dropped one before. The punishment is extreme. Yeah, the rewind is... I still haven't figured out exactly, um... 
exactly how it functions, but I've found that like sometimes if something moves and then it sits still for a long time, it'll still remember that movement. It's basically like when you hit rewind, it'll just start with whatever it did the last time it moved. So you can leave it static for a while. And then because the counter's so long, you can move something to multiple positions, you know, uh, strategically, and then rewind it one piece at a time, which is unbelievable. Like, it took me a while to figure that out as well. I only just figured that out this morning. Um. Tinfoil conspirator from the History Channel rambling about how the pyramids were built. No, that's... That's not, that is in context, Bardic. That was exactly what I was doing there. <laughs> I was just, I was just feeling the fire of that conspiracy. Because I personally, I just, I mean, I mean, yes, I do believe that humans built the pyramids. Of course I do. It's possible. But is it really, though? I mean, I don't care how many people you tether together with rope. And those bricks were huge. Like, you're telling me they carried them, like, had to get the top one on. You know what I mean? I don't think they got the top one on, man. I think the aliens at least did the top one. Going through some dark times, well. Oh, it's Tulin. Well, it's, it's Dimitri to me. It, Tulin, it's, so it's not really Tulin, right? Tulin's still in the village with his dad, being a badass. So I have Tulin's, like, ripped Tulin's soul out of his ass, and, and I named the soul, the ass soul, Dimitri. I will name all souls Dimitri. If I get more souls later, they'll all be Dimitri to me. No puzzles this time. The puzzle was getting the shrine to come out of the earth, I guess. They're just gonna give me the reward. Oh, cool. I haven't figured out what to do with those yet, aside from just putting them in the little, um, like the gacha machines. Which are, it's, I, that's a fun little thing in this game. You get the, the Zonai balls. And you put them in the gacha machine, and then you get different tool, like random tools you can use. But it's kind of a bummer because you can't choose what you want. And I uh, have been needing more fans since the beginning of the game, and I have not gotten any more fans. I'm not sure if like different gacha machines have different drop percentages, but um... hella goddess, what's up? Thank you for your first time chat. And uh, yeah, I'm finally. Uh, am I on Twitch? I like I, you could have fooled that. I didn't even know, I don't even have to have Twitch open, turns out. It all goes through OBS, so it doesn't even feel like I'm doing this for real, but thank you so much for, for being here. Um, this is really cool. I don't know if I'm losing you guys just playing Zelda like this. Um, please let me know. This is kind of my only plan for the night. I, I don't even have my um, OBS attached to um, my, my PC. I don't, well, I think I could probably add another thing and like do something on computer. I only have one monitor, what am I, what am I talking about? Back to Zelda. <laughs> Another thing about this game... Chill, Dimitri! He's pissed that I'm calling him that, I guess. Another thing about this game that... Breath of the Wild had this too, but I, I gave... I didn't give it as much credit. But the music is just... Like, actually, like, m masterful. It's so beautiful. It's so it's so subtle. It never really beats you over the head. Well, sometimes it does in like a boss fight or whatever, and then it's just that much cooler because it's been it's been playing it chill for so long. Can you guys hear the game music well? By the way, are you? Uh, can you hear this this incredible piano riff that's happening right now? It's it's not all always happening. It's like the world's most, like, the, the world's sleepiest pianist. He hits one note every ten minutes, but it's always the exact right note. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, ho I'll try to, uh, I'll try to find something, like, specifically... Because Zelda is very cool. this game is very quiet for long stretches, and then sometimes stuff happens that blows anything that happened in Breath of the Wild completely out of the water. And the, f the first time that I had a moment like that, the first, like, I don't even want to say what it's called, but the first big thing that I did, um, it was, it was, it, like, <laughs> I couldn't sleep for a while. I was like, that was so fun and so epic and so exciting. Uh, and that was the night that I decided I wanted to try to stream this. And I'm 
Man, I'm so glad. I spent the whole weekend um, setting this up. I'm so glad that it works. Yesterday was all troubleshooting. And then uh, today I shot, just shot out of bed at the crisp hour of 1.30 uh, p.m. Uh, and just immediately, like, you know, it was double checking stuff. I went out and bought some, um, some colorful, some colorful energy drinks that I will be chugging on this stream. Uh, very unhealthy shit, but you know, to make me feel like I'm in this zone as a streamer. Um, everything I've done this weekend is like, so that this, so that this would hopefully work. And uh, I still kind of can't believe it is working. This is really, really. Oops. Oh, here's the guy. Here's one of the gacha machines I was talking about. So here, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. This is kind of this is a very cool, a very bizarre, uh, but very cool system. I enjoy this a lot. So you can grab any of these charges, big or small, and you throw them in this pot. This is the pyramid aliens, by the way, that created this. And it just shits out all these, all these baubles. Not to be confused with boobles. Yeah, like, dude, look at the resolution. Like, I'm not, I'm not nitpicking this to be like mean spirit or or anything. I just, I'm pointing it out. Like, look at how. Like non-existent the graphics are, but it just it doesn't matter. A Zonai device that fires shots in intervals. The shot explodes when hitting the target. It's a powerful device, but it can be tricky to get the firing angle just oh my god. I guess like every time you find one of these islands, you unlock a new type of gacha ball, which is super cool. And I'm going to stand in this, even though this is, it doesn't look like a good idea, but, uh, it's a freaking great idea, boys. You're squawking at me. So you, Dimitri, you son of a bitch. Just give me the golden apple. You guys ever seen a golden apple? Look at this. Take a bite, Link. Come on, Link. Lick it. Just get it. I know you want to. <laughs> Just get a little taste of the apple, Link. Look at him staring it down. He wants a bite. Hey, Pengi, thank you. Thanks so much for following. That means a lot. That's cool. Are you guys, can you hear Owen Wilson say wow when that happens? Because that's very important to me that everyone can hear it. Link is just going to chill with this apple for a sec because he need, just needs a moment to himself. I'm glad that you can hear the music. Okay, that's perfect. You bought the album and the and a really cool game came with it. <laughs> yeah. It's all, yeah. It, I've bought a couple, well actually I don't know if I've ever bought a video game, oh yeah, I bought a Mega Man vinyl, uh, once, um, and I love the way that, uh, websites like Laced Records do such incredible limited edition drops of video game vinyl, like video game OST vinyls, but they're always super expensive, so you have to, in my opinion, you have to really like that game's soundtrack, and I always wonder to myself, like, without the game, could, would I really just sit and listen to this? I mean, maybe, maybe for, for meditating or something. Meditating has never really worked for me, but like with with this music it might be a breakthrough. Oh Doom. God Doom. Mick Gordon does the soundtracks for Doom. He's um one of my favorite uh musicians of all time. And he pr he primarily just does music for games, but he's like an absolute maestro and a huge you know he does metal like really well. Link, how you get? You good? I'm just looking at the apple, sir. Yeah, I know. I know you are. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go get one of those colorful drinks in just a second here. That's so cool. Sure, I can catch the stream, but I'm still out. That's okay. Sir Pengi, that's all good. I'll do more of these. Now that I've got it figured out, this is actually really fun. I can just, just chill and not have to... Because with Let's Play videos, it's so intensive, right? It's like the whole time, 
Like from the moment I start recording and I turn the game on, I'm like, okay, I got to comment on every little thing that happens and I got to make sure that like, I'm always thinking about the edit as I'm shooting. It's like, what can I punch in on and all that stuff. And then the second I finish, you know, I've only played the game for 20 minutes and then I got to go edit for five hours and then I post it. It's like, it's such a, it's, I love the process, but it's a very intensive one. And with streaming, I can just like let Link stare at a golden apple for 20 minutes and like no one's, no one's really seems to be all that pissed off about it, you know? I'm sure you guys are getting a little tired of it. Just give me two seconds. I'm going to get go get a colorful... Uh, just want a colorful energy drink. One sec. All right, so... Not only did I bring... a drink, I brought a glass with ice in it as well. Little life hack. Um, if you put water in the freezer... in, like, a container, it'll it'll turn into ice. And it makes everything taste better. Except for beer, I guess. I've tried it against my better judgment, and uh, actually, I think it's kind of nice. <laughs> but you got to drink it fast, otherwise the water melts and it dilutes it. And that's not that's not as much of a problem with energy drinks because energy drinks are basically just gasoline, gasoline and rainbow plasma. So little water isn't going to hurt you. But uh, cheers, everybody. <laughs> my first... My first ninja... Uh, this is what ninja does, right? This is my first ninja. Holy shit. I forgot Link was looking at this apple. Okay, you can have it, Link. You're, you've been a good boy. I actually have a lot of those apples. Sometimes I go way, way out of my way to get the golden apples. There's just something about them. Hey, what did you say to me? You're lucky. Chad Vegas. What's up, man? Thanks for joining. What did I miss? Hope this will be a more chill stream. Yeah, this is a... I'd assume that this is a... A pretty chill stream. As far as things go. This is basically me on... Oh, no! I have to, uh... Okay, I want to get that. But in order to get that, I have to... Oh! No, wait, maybe I don't have to... Catch it! Catch it! No, where is it? Where is it? I screwed up! It's... Oh, wait, there it is! Gotcha! Now, does it bring me back up? No, it doesn't bring me back up. Oh. Well, that's okay. I was about done with that island anyway, I guess. I mean, I might have missed something extremely important, but... Did you guys see that? That was kind of... That was probably the proest thing I've done in Zelda so far. The catch was crazy. It felt like Goku. Alright, let's check out this shrine, and then we'll see what this area... This region looks... It's like an encampment. Oh, we're in Kakariko! Listen to the music! I'm gonna turn the music up for a sec. I can't turn the music up any further. <laughs> Never mind. Wait, maybe I can. I turned it up a little bit, I think. Hey, Shad, thank you for saying that, man. I appreciate that. Um, I'm really, really pleased that uh, everyone seems to be comfortable with it. I, I, I've barely ever been on Twitch in my lifetime, like as a viewer even. I, I just, I've always preferred, I mean, I'm a little older than some people. <laughs> I grew up with YouTube. And so I've always been like, why would someone watch a live stream when they can watch like carefully curated and edited content kind of thing? But, um, so the few streams I have watched, I'm always like trying to figure out what the, uh, What's like the baseline for like, you know, how, how, what resolution should you be outputting and frame rate and all that stuff. And I just used a couple tutorials on YouTube to set this up. So I was pretty worried that it was just going to completely fall apart at the seams, but it's been running for a while. In fact, I'm going to stop my record, start it again. My plan is to record as I stream and then I'll cut hi stream highlights and then post that on the, maybe the Adam After Dark channel, because that's the more gaming centric channel. So I'll make like, not quite stream dumps, not quite VODs, but like highlights 
for for people who missed the streams and to help to help promote the fact that I got this up and running. Now. Well, you know, I guess I just answered your question without realizing it, but yeah. So I am like, I, Twitch gives you an option to record l while you're shooting, uh, and then it'll pump out a file for you. But I think in, I think that that's like a pretty bad quality file. So I've figured out how to get OBS to do it while it's streaming, which I'm worried is a bit too much load on the computer, but it seems to be all right. I feel like when I try to stream PC games, so when I'm using the, like right now it's a Switch doing the, the brunt of the work, but when I'm using the PC to play the game, stream the game, record the game, all at the same time, that might cause some sort of a crash or dip in frame rate or something, but this is working well. And so I'm recording a really good quality copy of this and I'll post it on, uh, yeah, probably on Adam After Dark. Uh, sometime in the near future for anybody who misses it. But it's going to be a lot of me sitting still and talking, I think. Hot cocoa on a cold day in our wall. I haven't done that in such a long time. You know what my favorite thing to do is, like, even when it's not a cold day... Well, it, it's better when it's a cold day, but... I really like to, um... Get on the get on that comfy couch over there, and I'll, I've got this blanket that's super soft. So I'll like I'll open the windows so that it gets really cold, and then I'll turn a fan on as well so that it gets even colder. <laughs> and then I'll just put a blanket around myself, and it, you're just like I don't know what it is about that. Maybe it has something to do with like the womb. Maybe maybe it reminds you of being a pre-human, and maybe that's why I like it so much being coddled like that. But it just makes me feel safe. And then I'll and then I'll boot up a game. A game I did that with this year was uh, Ghostwire Tokyo, and it was perfect for that for that atmosphere. It was incredible. Well, this isn't a tough one. This is an easy one. Yeah, I know. All right, now we're getting a little now we're getting a little weirder. What the hell is this? What does this do? Not... <laughs> nothing? <laughs> Is it like a gyroscope? Or like, um... What do you... Um... An accelerometer? Like something that you'd have in a cell phone so that it knows which way you're pointing it? Is that what this is? That'd be ridiculous. I doubt it's that. Does anyone know what this thing is? 720 to keep the computer running well, so if you end up having issues when you're on a PC game, you can do that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll just dip the, um, I'll dip the, uh, the, uh, output resolution or like the, um, I can't even think of the term. There's something in OBS that, that, uh, allows you to alter that. That'd be cool. Or maybe I just won't record it at the same time. I'll have to, uh, use the Twitch VOD for that. Usually if you can pick it up, you'll need it for some, yeah, 100% I'm going to need this. So let's, let's put both of them on here for good measure. Or maybe they're like... Okay, well, let's try hitting them and see what happens. What the shit?! Oh! oh. They stand up straight. <laughs> That's what they do. Alright, well, what... <laughs> what good is that? Alright. I guess... I guess the reason that's good is that... Um, when I'm doing builds... And I get stuck because I can't get the wheels on something because the the side is stuck in the ground or whatever. I can use that as it's almost like a car jack. And from there I can make it. That's a really weird tool. See the the game is it goes so far out of its way to provide you with stuff that like you wouldn't even be able to or like I I won't say you I'll say me I'm the one that can't figure this shit out but. Like, I would never be able to figure out... If I were a developer, told to make a puzzle with this tool, I'd be like, ah, I don't know. But then they just hit you with the coolest stuff. <laughs> we just smack it. Okay, that's good. Now... Oh, dude, is it... Are we gonna make a catapult right now? Hold on. You gotta be kidding me. This is awesome. Line it up! Line it up, little doggy! 
Perfect! Link! I didn't know that you could do cal calculus, buddy. You, you always underestimate me. I'm sorry, Link. Oh, I didn't even realize I nailed it. I didn't even have to move it again. Okay, we gotta go. That's where we're going for the end. Have we found the special second chest yet? I feel like there's always... Oops. There's always like an extra chest, right? I'm curious if, um, if we've discovered it yet. Are we gonna shoot ourselves out of this one? I sure hope the answer is yes. Because I don't think we need to shoot a ball. We didn't find the extra chest. Usually it's just like five arrows or something stupid like that, but I like trying to always get it. Oh, it's up there. Okay, hold up. One quick moment, please. It's possible that I can even... Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Right. Go like that. This is a cool tool, man. I'm a fan of this thing. Give me some of that while I sip on some of my fuel. So this is it harnesses the power of fairies. I'm curious if that means that it revives you from death automatically, like a fairy would. Because otherwise it's just giving me seven hearts. It's not harnessing shit, right? No, I don't know if I'm bold enough to test that theory, but someday we're gonna find out whether we like it or not, I'm sure. I was telling you guys, I, I discovered something insane uh, when I was playing this last night. I was up so late playing this last night. I, I couldn't... I was just kind of dead set on, like, getting to a point in the game that I felt would be a good start for tonight's stream. And then I just couldn't stop. But I found an area that was, like... Like, there's, there's no... There's no level gating in this game, like, they won't not let you go into a place, but you can tell pretty quick if it's- if you're out of your depth. Um, and I was out of my depth, and I tried to get through it anyway, and I killed a ton of stuff. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> These things are really strong. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put three of them on this, and then we're gonna catapult ourselves, and it's gonna be nuts. Oh! Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Turn it off, though. Oh, shh. Come here. Okay. Like... so? And then just give me a sec. Or did I say three? Maybe there's only two. Is this one on as well? Good, it's not. Um, okay, there's only two of them. That should be enough. Let's see. <laughs> sit, sit Link's ass down in this little pot here, and then we'll trigger it with a bow. Oh, that wasn't nearly enough! <laughs> well, what am I gonna do? I don't have three. I even pulled one up over the... Do you think there's a chance that... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I have a, I have a plan. Alright. Okay, now we're cooking. I somehow, I like, I don't know how strong these things are. If their power is infinite, then having twice as long of a gate will make me go twice as far. Now, if we were talking about my little arms trying to, like, you know, having this extra weight on top would probably make it go less far. But here we go. Testing out the fit. Oh my god! <laughs> no! I got cocky. I thought I didn't even have to use my, um, <laughs> my glider. <laughs> I was gonna laugh with you guys about how I didn't even have to use the glider. 
It was gonna be great. We were all gonna chuckle. Instead, I made you all witness Link's death. It's kind of, kind of messed up. Alright. No more fooling around. That hurt a little bit, but it looked cooler. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, you had me, Hella. Sorry, I should have looked over. You uh, you had the answer for me. I, it was my fault for not, not reading. But we got it. At the end of the day, we made it. Together we made it! Can't sing the next line of that song. It's a good song, though. Did you guys hear that? Some people have no respect, man. It's not a very busy street outside. Some people will just hit it at like 300 miles an hour per kilometers an hour. Alright. So. This is largely like... This, is, this region has very little going on. These wetlands... All these islands? This looks like it's not not a ton of fun to uh, explore. Maybe we'll check it out. That peak has probably got something on it. Um, but so we're doing the village. And then down there, I think there's a quest I've got in West Nakluta. We can check that out. But let's see what let's see what's going on in Kakariko. This is gonna be so cool. There's gonna be a lot. But I remember this from Breath of the Wild, so it'll be cool to see what's changed. So, let's start over here. This is, uh, somebody's DoorDash delivery route for the day. Southern Ring Ruin Research Journal. Like the other ring ruins, those that fell to the plateau south of the village also held a stone slab with Zonai inscriptions. Curiously, we also discovered a flower growing in the ruin, the likes of which we had never seen. References in ancient texts revealed that it was a sundelion, a plant long, though, long thought extinct. I've seen sundelions aplenty. These researchers aren't very good at their jobs. We are currently borrowing a local plum orchard for our cultivation efforts and hoping our studies prove fruitful. <laughs> Was that a pun? Our investigation of the round device filled with strange objects has meanwhile come to a standstill. The strange device filled with round... Are you guys seeing that too? Please tell me you're seeing that too. Oh, bye, Narwhal. Have yourself a, a goddamn treat of the day. And, uh, thank you so much for joining. This is nuts. It looks so gorgeous. I want to pet it. Never mind, he looks a little rough. He looks a little jaggy. If I pin him, does the pin move with him? No, that's not working. Wouldn't that be cool if you could like track a beast? He's not a beast. That's kind of rude. All right, sorry, I'm not I'm not getting anything done here. But that was crazy. This is the first time I've seen one of those in this game. What's this? Take a pic picture of it for my compendium. The silent shroom. Stealthy, okay, helps with stealth. Yeah, the dragons are on that was unbelievable. And that that was also my favorite thing about uh, Breath of the Wild. The first time I stumbled onto one of those, it like actually it was I found it so exciting. But those moments were quite rare in that game. What's this? Might not even make it into the village. The stone slab at the Southern Ring ruins. Some translation notes: Who protect of Hyrule from the Demon King together, King? Yeah, they're talking to you, King. King Nike, I think that's. I think they're talking to you. They were known as sages, 
What I take from this is that it's about a facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. If I were to guess at how to fill in the gaps, it'd go something like... There were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the Nike King. Hey, you, made it. you made it into the game. That was kind of impressive. I didn't know I had a celeb in the chat. I can't get through this. Alright, well that's that. I don't know what's up with these ruins. It's kind of, kind of crazy. Hip, hip. All right, he's got something interesting for me to do in this city. <laughs> what an entrance. Imagine. Imagine you're in a little village and you need help, and then this, this fucker just... comes rolling over the cliff's tops with... Let's see what this guy's saying. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Under Princess Zelda's orders, everyone is strictly forbidden from getting close to that ring. If that applies to an archaeologist like me, it certainly applies to an amateur like you. Ooh. Princess Zelda visited Kakariko Village recently. Her orders were clear. Of all the ring ruins, this site is off limits. She left before giving any sort of reason why. Maybe she wanted to keep the villagers safe. Ruins aren't known for being structurally sound, after all. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just gonna go in, dude. Oh, damn it. Oi! Hey! Okay, okay, okay. Come here. <laughs> Come here, asshole. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I hear you, man. I hear you, man. What about you guys? Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched. Especially this one. The way part of it floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all of these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh, I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Exposition much? Oh, no. I, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name, since I still have a great deal to- Oh? I didn't see you there. No! Oh. oh, she knows me. <laughs> Sup, Paya? Again? I um, apologize that I don't remember you at all. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, yeah! What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. Ah. It was immediately after the upheaval. The upheaval, I think, is the event where the Sky Islands came down and the gloom of the... Uh, it's, the it's the thing that over overturned all the progress we made in Breath of the Wild. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. She orders us all to stay away from the ring ruin that floats, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. Oh, look at this dude's hair. <laughs> frosted tips. How about frosted front-facing rat tails? She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pei and I suspect, at least. Mm. Still, I knew you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Ah. Oh, my apologies. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zionai survey team. Ah. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. Ah. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He's truly an incredibly talented individual. He's also got washboard abs, and sometimes I let him follow me back to my hut. Huh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still much we don't understand. Aww. 
perhaps the floating, the ring, the ruin flo <laughs> floating in the air also has a slab that the energy drinks kick in it, and I just kind of want to skip through this. I can't investigate as that would go against Princess Zelda's orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her. I'll go. I'll go. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Zelda with the one that we met. Is everything all... So she got, like, at the beginning of the game, Zelda was with Link, and then she got kind of, like, tossed into a pit by, like, a time demon or something. And it seems to me that she's in, like, a... like a, an alternate reality or something. And there's these things around the map that give you these cinematics that teach you that story, but I've been finding them out of order. And I don't want to watch them out of order. So I'm tr I've been trying to find the first couple, and I haven't yet. But uh, I'm excited to see a little, a little bit more about what's going on mm. with this story. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Okay, you leave it alone. I will go check it out. What? Oh, dude, it's raining again. It's raining again. It's raining, men. Again. Yeah. Oh, Link. Good of you to come. Too curious to stay away. Who are you? <laughs> You're funny, man. It's me, Wordsworth. The ancient Hyrulean scholar you met. Aren't you curious about my findings? Not really, man. Please don't talk my ear off, dude. This is a picture of this tablet that fell from the sky. I managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes. Mm. It says, Once held the honorary all's hockey made... That, bro, that's not what it says. Am I supposed to... Is this a, is this a cipher? Mm. Uh, oh. I don't care, dude. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. Alright, there's 13 of these things. Thank you. They really go ham with the text sometimes. It, it's it, I'm not gonna skip it off, and it's it's worth reading. Oh god, a whole journal. All right, what do you guys think? Do I read this? <laughs> you tell me. I don't know what that language was. That was weird. Link's previous booty call. <laughs> Who uh, Toro? Yeah, not not Pia's booty call. It's Link's booty call. A one-time stand. I like that. I like one-time stand. What's a good phrase? That dude was... Yeah, that dude was... He actually intimidated me. I needed to get away from him. <laughs> yeah, that dude's a killer, right? He, that, he's not a good man. <sighs> I answered that I heard its research division was led by a brilliant man by Toro. Oh, this is Caleb's journal. This is... Okay, so Caleb was the old man who told me to get out of there. And here he's waxing. Now he likes he likes Toro with the abs. I meant it sincerely, and in my heart I longed to continue. Oh my, I wasn't... You're not like these other dullards, you know. You immediately grasp the breadth of my vision. <laughs> of course, no such thing passed my lips. But I am certain that Toro, and no one else, is the man who can help the world see my indescribable worth. Okay, so is he in love with Toro, or is he... Just like a huge narcissist, and he's pumped that someone understands how great he is. Our leader, Toro, has done nothing but surprise me since I joined the team. One day, I arrived at the research site to find him sitting on bare earth as he stared at a stone slab. I wished him a good morning, and to that he turned to me and said, Ah, Caleb, sorry I didn't notice you. <laughs> I thought back to the night before. As I was heading in, I saw Toro sitting on bare earth examining a stone slab. It hit me. He'd stayed up all night, puzzling over the slab, never moving from his perch. I felt a profound envy of his ability to focus so completely that the passing of time escaped his notice. All right, okay. All right, so they're 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 in love. That's cool. They both do good work. What's this? Look at this guy. He's. I will take a picture. Just for me, to commemorate. My time spent with him. Oh, what the hell? That did not take us anywhere. Okay, so my goal is to climb the mountain and just completely bypass... Uh, whatever. Whoever that was. Uh, when it stops raining, though. So for while it's raining, let's see what else is going on. Ooh, some clothing. 
guys let me know if you like anything in here. Stealth tights. 5,000? Dude, like the most valuable gem in the game sells for like a tenth of that. That's just the pants. And for stealth? I don't know. Who uses stealth in, in Zelda, you know? Unless I have to buy this to, to... That's cool, though. That probably makes Link look pretty sweet. Um, no, no. Unless I need that, I'm not buying it. What's this? The paint has been made from crushed luminous stones. It causes the shirt to show a glowing bone-like pattern in the dark. What, it's just like Link's... <laughs> his rave gear? I think this is just Link's rave gear. Kind of like a luchador mask, but for sex clubs. <laughs> I don't really want that either. Uh, it's also way outside of my... Uh... You okay? I'm sorry, I must have drifted off. i have just so tired lately. Look, I know it won't help to talk about it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. My grandmother's really sick. I'm running the shop while my little sister Lassley is looking after her. We're sort of, sort of getting by, but we're both so exhausted. Aww. I'm sorry, but we really need money. What? Okay, all right. I've had to hike up the prices. Oh, that's why. That's why it's so much. It's just for now. As soon as grandmother's healthy, I can... Oh, well, let me go Aww. cure your grandmother. Link has all kinds of potions. I shouldn't bring this into the shop with me. That's all right. I get you. Probably shouldn't have dumped all that on a customer. Well, ah. lucky you. I'm not just a regular customer. Ah. Anyway, you can't get your hands on CC brand fashion unless you go southeast to Hatino. I need to go there anyway. But why go there when you can meet all your fashion needs here? Look, tell me more about your grandma. Why would I care about that? My grandmother's sick with a strange illness, and my little sister is taking care of her. She was supposed to be studying fashion. But she loves her grandmother so much that she's put her dreams on hold. This is uh, pretty real. I'm sorry about this, but we really need the money. Wait, no, you're saying it. You're saying the same thing. What? Okay, so she's not gonna tell me. So I, I gotta go find uh, Lasley then, right? It sounds like she's in the village too. I'll find the house with the with the sister and the grandma, and they'll tell me. Uh, but first, I'm gonna take a picture of this pumpkin real quick. I know the grandma's sick and everything, and that sounds like it takes precedence, for sure. But, um, I've never seen a pumpkin in my life. That's an impressive pumpkin. <laughs> Alright. I don't want to be reprimanded. I want to be on everybody's good side in this, uh, in this town. We'll leave the pumpkin alone. We got our picture. It's all good. Just a bunch of nothing in here. Although, it is cozy. I think this is the exact same design as Breath of the Wild. I think it's just the exact same. Which is... it's fine. Aww. Oh, it's Lasley. Here we go. <sighs> At this rate, Grandmother's health isn't going to... Ugh. And Clary's so busy running the clothing shop. I'll just have to do it myself. I'll find a cure. I can just say best of luck. Oh, you guys can't see what my prompts... Oh, whatever. I'll just tell you what I say. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Are you a traveler? I guess it doesn't really matter who you are, so long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandmother. She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff. Oh, I bet I have something for her right now. Porridge is about the only thing she can keep down. I don't have porridge. I've been trying to mix in ingredients that could help with gloom sickness, but none of them have had any effect. I need to cook a porridge that will make my grandmother better, and I need to do it soon. All right, let's uh, let's get cooking. Mm. I have an item for gloom, but you tell me about how to make porridge. Hylian rice, fresh milk, wild greens. Alright. Hylian rice, help me out with this, guys. Hey, Charlotte. Uh, yeah, the stream's still going. I'm chilling. I'm, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I guess, like, some people, when they, when they stream, maybe they focus really hard on being, like, engaging constantly, and then they leave sooner. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna be playing for a, a while, I guess. I don't know. It's up to you guys. You can drop in and out as you please. It's so good to see you. I thought I missed it. No, you didn't. No, no, no. You didn't miss it. Uh, you're about to see me make porridge. 
You have no idea how hot things are about to get up in this. Um, who wouldn't want Link in a gimp suit? <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, I, I, I will get that suit at some point. Okay, help me remember this, guys. Hylian rice, fresh milk, wild greens. Okay, I have that. I have all of that. I'm sure I do. Okay. Hylian rice. I bought like a bunch of it just the other day. Milk. Rice. Oh crap, what was the third thing? Guys, what the hell was the third thing? Hylian rice. Fresh milk. Wild gr wild greens? Really? What was it? What is a... Uh, what the hell's a wild green? Like, these all look like wild greens. But none of them are called wild green. So... So... Um... Maybe just like a Hyrule Herb? That's a wild green, right? Let's try it, let's try it. Although we don't have too many tries because I don't have much of this milk. Milk is hard to find in this world. Uh, but then I do have the thing for gloom because I killed like a, a really intense sub boss. Dark clump. Use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Right, so here we go. A Little bit of Mary Jane, that's right. Let's hope, let's hope that that was the right kind of green. Yeah! Grants low level gloom. An uplifting dish. Lastly, would you like this porridge? Oh no. I guess that's not the right thing. Damn. My grandmother's cleaning up East Hill for the survey team when she noticed the chasm. We know that the chasm's a source of gloom. When she tried to take a look, she got exposed. But there's an ingredient that counteracts the sickness. Um, so there's an actual item called wild greens. Okay, shoot. So I, I, like, I thought we were onto something there. But I guess gloom resistance is not the same as counteracting gloom. So perhaps I need to find real wild greens. No, but that's the porridge and all. Uh, we're gonna put a pin in this. I wasn't gonna buy the gimp suit right now anyway, so that's that's fine. I'll figure that one out. Holy shit. Oh, that's grandma. I don't know who you are, but I'm sorry you have to see me like this. You should have seen me when I was 20. I was a rocket. I'm dealing with an illness and don't have the strength to get up. If this is about the clothing shop, yeah, imagine I'm here to just bust her balls about clothes. All right. Yeah, I've heard this story. Save your, save your breath. Rest, rest, rest big. Rest, rest big. Well, do I have wild greens? This is going to bother me. Um, it wouldn't be any of these. I don't think I have wild, I don't think that's a thing I've discovered yet. So, yeah, maybe that'll, maybe that'll do it. I'll find that. Come here, bitch. Whoops, no, come here. the pen. I sure hope Nana's doing okay. At least she's getting some rest at home. Um, are you one of those tourists who've been poking around? A lot of older folks live around here. <laughs> Look at this again. This little village used to be as quiet as a dusty old tomb. But then Pia became chief and lots of you hot young things started popping off. I just worry that with all the new folks, something might happen to my plum garden. I don't give a shit. 
The previous chief planted these beautiful plum trees on the day I was born. They're a part of me. I take care of them like I would take care of my own children. Corey over there with the survey team shows my trees proper respect, so I let her use part of my garden for research. She uses it to grow something called a sunlight. Seems important, so I keep a careful watch and I don't fuss with it. What if I fuss with it, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Link! Uh, that's, that's a hell of a way to go. <laughs> the chickens messed me up, man. I've been training cuckoos to swoop on any rascalians who try to mess with these trees. You and the guide dogs will try cuckoos. <laughs> All right. So, I'm sorry. I won't mess with them again. I can pray to this, right? If I remember from Zel uh, Breath of the Wild correctly. Let's get another um, harder stamina. Everybody. Should I get a heart or a stamina? I'm thinking heart, because I've got two stamina wheels. I've been really, really pumping stam. I'm the ghost of village future. Get up now or suffer eternal damnation. Wow. Hey, uh, Minerva, what's up? I don't think I've uh, seen you talk, seen you say anything in here before. Oh, that, this is when you, oh yeah, it's, it's wait. It's 3 a.m. for you? Well, to, to be fair, I was up until 4 a.m playing this yesterday. So if I can do it, you can do it. You know? <laughs> you have to. No, no, you don't have to. Oh, Link feels that. Deep in his plum garden. That guy was talking about... He's got no idea what a... He has no idea what a plum garden really feels like. I wonder if I can go behind that waterfall. Look at this little one! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Well, I can't grab the chicken and and I'm gonna throw it at the kid. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This one's gonna be perfect. He's not responding. Oh. <laughs> it's a. Uh... I, I don't know you, and I shouldn't talk to strangers, but we're already talking, so maybe we aren't strangers anymore. This is probably fine. What do you want to talk about? That was some, that was some dangerous logic that kid had. Hey. Yeah. Oh. One thing about the, the dialogue in this game is typically like seven, if, if there's ten people in a town, Two of them might be unique, and the rest will all tell you about the same thing, just to ensure that you hear about something specific. How about a ring garland? They're made with lots of love, and they're five rupees each? Yeah, sure. Looks like you worked hard on this. You're gonna add a little bit of love. Coco's, uh, a little thirsty. Oh! What? What do you mean? You almost walked off with it. Your oh, I had to pick it. I didn't realize I had to pick it up. <laughs> what do you want me to do with this? Oh man, I don't know. I'm just gonna throw it in the river. Well, sure, okay, no, no, no. That that didn't feel right. There's gotta be. This this is your life now. I don't do Twitch normally, also just got here. Also, I have a plum garden, and I love my plums. I should get attacked chicken. Also, thanks slow mode for this text. Uh, oh, should I turn slow mode off? Yeah. Hold on a sec, I just, I, I picked a couple options for... Alright, there you go. Slow mode's off. You're right though, this is my life now. What do you guys think I do with this? Do you think I stick it to a door? Like, I mean, it looks like you stick it to a door, right? Not that one. I, I, I don't know. You, take this back for now, okay? I, I can't. I can't be bothered. It's too much responsibility. 
Welcome, friend. Those eyelids feeling heavy? Then you've come to the right place. That's a... Uh, 10,000. Is your grandma sick too? You crook. <laughs> <laughs> he was joking. I stopped by hoping to catch some Z's when the owner up and asked me to keep an eye on the place. This guy doesn't even work here. <laughs> Said he had to go make up the beds in the survey tents. I don't think he's coming back. But there's four tent camps in this village and only one for me. Could you maybe track down the owner and tell him to come back already? If you run across some sleepy looking guys spacing out, you found your man. Guy's not a fan. But I'll find him for you, bud. Okay, so it stopped raining, right? So... Um... Alright, last thing I want to do, and then we'll try to climb that. I just want to see what's going on in the, uh... The main hut here. Holy. Is that really you, Link? Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. Uh, and right now, too, while our chief is... Oh. The chief? I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. Now Lady Paya is the chief. I've been working as her assistant, but... She's ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I have to say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Hey, man. You're a little, uh... A little old and jacked to be complaining like that. I, if I were you, I'd... Shoot for stoicism. Can I pull that book out from under the bed? No. This is just gonna be more... Okay, 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 okay. I'll read that later. I've been doing too much reading. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna get us to something interesting. Okay, so there's the guy. What's this guy got a quest? Hey, Charlotte. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that almost as much as Owen Wilson did. I wish I could find out what's on the stone. Yeah. I know what's written on them, really? He has respect for me. There's three left. What's this about? You have three more to tell him about. Okay, so I, I find the slabs, I read what's on the slabs, and then I and then I return to him with uh, that information. There are so, I have so many side quests on the go, it's unbelievable. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's fast travel to this shrine. Because, okay, there's the ruins. The shrine's here. So we'll go to the shrine and then around. Because this will at least get us the elevation that we're looking for. Hey, Narwhal! You're back! Look, you do no you do Narwhal things out in the real world. You do Narwhal things in here as well, okay, bud? I like having you here. Uh, fuse it with a shield? Oh, wait, what, oh, the, oh, the garland? Oh. That wasn't a bad idea. Sorry, I missed that. Maybe I give it to the research lady. Oh, I appreciate the, the voice acting comments, guys. Forgot to follow... That's how surprised I was the stream was still going. <laughs> what? How long has it been? It's been two hours. That's that's pretty good. Wow. 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 Welcome, Minerva. All right. That's where we're going. Right. It's time to do a little climbing. I guess two hours is a pretty lengthy stream. I haven't stood up and well, I went to get my my gasoline, so I've been I've been gone for a couple seconds of that two hours. Um, all right, here's the strat. Uh, here's the strat, and let it never be said that that I don't have good strats. Oh, there's fireworks! I thought I heard someone coming up my stairs. I was that was terrifying. I've never had someone just walk into this place and it's always locked so that uh, was terrifying.
But yeah, it's Victoria Day weekend, so... Guys, tell me if you see someone behind me, alright? I'm gonna need to know. Some people stream for days. <laughs> yeah. One of the only streamers I watch is uh, Kyle Bossman. I love that guy. And he, he'll, he'll stream for like nine hours. Um... I've never, like, sat for a whole one, but he plays, like, old classics, and he always picks fun stuff. He doesn't always go for the big stuff, and uh, he's so entertaining and kind to his audience. But yeah, he just sits there and streams for, like, an, inf an, an eternity. An eternity. Oh, no! It's raining again! Dude, I can't... Oh, okay, this is our ticket. This is our ticket. Get to this thing quick. Wait for this. Watch this, guys. Dude, why is it always raining here? I feel like that's like a thing. Like I have to do something in the world to undo the rain or something. Alright. And away we go! And this is how we're gonna get on top of the ring. Still, so this fireworks are sounding real suspect. Okay, here we go. What? Yeah, yeah, the- yeah, who needs to sleep? Hit and rewind on the stones that fall out of the sky. If you can get to them right away, we'll bring you back up like that. Which I just found that out last night. I gave it a shot and I, I couldn't believe it when it worked. Um, alright, so... So I don't really know... Is there even an entrance? On this thing? Like, what even is this thing? Ow, damn it. Okay, so I know he didn't want me to come up here, right? This is it. This is the floating piece, nonetheless. No less. It's not, like, this is the, this is the scary one. Oh! Well, this will get me a Korok at least, right? Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> That's how you know someone's a serial killer when they're playing this game. If they if they drop the pebbles on the on the dudes when they. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna try to go inside the ring, but it looks like there's nothing to this really. What's the what does it all mean, Basil? <laughs> Going down, we're, we're wasting our opportunity to be on the topmost piece. These fireworks are going off. It's Victoria Day weekend here in Canada right now, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. It's an excuse for people to shoot fireworks, I guess. Okay, what's this? Uh, is it a latch? Oh, that would have been so cool. Anybody know what the hell this is? Oh, no one's hearing Owen? Oh, that sucks. Um... It's, I've, I've got something called stream elements linked to the stream. And that makes, like... It makes the alerts go off. But... Uh, I guess... We could hear him... At the start of the stream. Oh, so maybe something about... Hold on, if I go back to the just chatting room. Was this when you could hear him fine? So maybe... Maybe it's because I have... Great. Nice. Wow. Thanks for the test, Hella. Did you hear that, guys? Yeah, okay, so that's because I have PC music. Alright, I have a different input set up for this room, so... Oh, just everything coming through my headphones. But here's the issue, if I do that, if I put that input again while I'm streaming the game, um, you'll hear probably a loop of the game. Because the Elgato is going to be outputting it, and it's also going to be rooting through my headphones. So... Sheesh. Um, I don't know. 
Oh, thanks, Charlotte. It's um, I can't I can't lift him up or uh, I'll have to unplug him. He's on a real short leash, but it's a uh, spike from Cowboy Bebop. Here, I'll just unplug it so I can show you. He's a little dirty. I don't know if you recognize the uh, the face, but it's from a show called Cowboy Bebop that I adore. It's such a cool idea. I think I found it on Amazon. Just like they just take any given art and, uh, you know, usually like something pop culture related. And then they just stick it in this thing that allows you to funnel light through it. It's perfect. Yeah, it's so cool. I love this the setting that makes it change too. Spike, yeah. Put a pink light on the other side and you'll have Suspiria. Oh my god. Don't talk about Suspiria. I'm not looking to make my stream into a giallo. That movie is so weird. Not the I, like the original the original is the one I like, the Dario Argente one. The, the the remake is like it's okay, but I didn't I really didn't like the uh, the end very much. I feel like he was trying to go as shock valuey as the original, and it just kind of like felt off and gross. Yeah, uh, Suspiria is a giallo. Giallo was like a, a movement in Italy in like the seventies, I think. It was a speci very specific type of horror film that used really stark lighting like not even remotely realistic like it didn't feel diegetic like it did feel like the light was actually of the world you know like a, a woman would walk into like a hotel room and she'd see something terrifying and then all of a sudden she's just covered in red light and she's like <gasps> and the music would go <laughs> jello is cool though it was like super super stylized oh oh we got something out of this eh? Arrows? Arrows? A large zone. Dude, I got 29 of those. You think I went all the way out of my way for one more? Come on! Does it want me to take picks? Peep, 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 peep. Peep, 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 So yeah, I'll have to figure out how to funnel Owen's uh, noises through the uh, stream without relying on the, um... Well... Uh, stream because the stream elements plugin is a browser option, and I don't think it has an audio. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out when I'm not on stream anymore. I'll have it. I'll have it good for the next one. I think with a mystery recap of it. Actually, man, doing a mystery recap for Suspiria would be badass. It'd be better than a uh, a lot of the weird ones they've been picking lately. We've been getting really like. I want to say too adult, you know, like too schlocky. So many of the so many of the scripts we've done lately have been really um, just kind of gross. Like that farm one was just nasty, and like clearly not a good movie. It didn't have a it didn't have a message. It was just gross for the sake of it, which has been like, the type of movie I've always avoided in my life. And we're doing like the sexy time thumbnails and stuff too, which fair fair game. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. No, <laughs> no, I, I, no, I, I, like, I love the team. I'm just worried that we're taking some missteps and it'll hurt our, uh, our audience retention. Because I mean, I don't get to pick this stuff, right? I just do the, I just read what I'm handed. But I thought that we used to be really good at picking stuff and uh, staying, you know, staying kind of clean and just picking cool, interesting, thought-provoking films. And uh, now it's kind of like, oh, the, the, these women are being kidnapped and milked. <laughs> so what the fuck? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. You make a good point. One of the recaps featured your relative. Which one was that? The clown from Terrifier is your relative? Oh my god. I haven't seen Terrifier, but it... Like, that looks like too, too much. That movie looks like too much for me. Those, those violent scenes go hard. Okay, I gotta, I can't believe your, what is it? Is it your uncle? Please tell me it's your uncle. <laughs> Let's bring this uncle chat full circle tonight. Tell me it's your uncle, please. 
Okay, what? I've been failing you guys tonight. I, I didn't make the porridge. I didn't figure out what to do with the garland. The roosters kicked my ass. And... I... I don't know what to do with this ring. There's 13 tablets. Capture the stone tablets in pictures and show them to Wordsworth. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out what those tablets look like. Is it maybe I'm supposed to take a picture of something in this ring while I'm in here in here? Your cousins. That's nuts. Your cousins with Art the Clown. Well, at least I'll spare you, probably, right? If you guys grew up together before he turned into that thing, then he'll probably let you live. Um Okay, maybe we'll just go elsewhere. Let's go let's go do this. Peace to Nekluda, because um Art, oh man, what is going on with these rings? Didn't the, didn't the one guy say that I've there's like oh you've told me about three of them and or one of them and you got to find three more? One sec. Stables. Region in the south. The thirteen tablets. I wish this would give me an example of what one of those looked like. What the hell is this? Oh, right, right, right. Die asked you to watch over an inn. He's starting to worry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's get this guy. Let's go get this guy. That we can do. We can get the guy that left the uh, rando to watch over the inn. Um, oh, and then this porridge can be found. Oh, no, that's that's just where the nanny is. Oh, wait, is that also the guy? Damn it. This is on my map. This is pointing me back at the inn, I think. Not at where I need to go. Their tents are located in four different areas. It's not sure where they are. Okay, I'll just look for tents. Stone slabs have been found in the ring ruins. He's come to see the writing on the slabs, but is afraid of heights. If you read what's written, let him know what they say. Um. Okay, that's that's got to be in this, right? Am I crazy? Like I, got, I should be able to read something in here, maybe. Optimum path. Yeah, I don't... I have everything I need for the porridge. Really? But I made... Like, I made one that I thought was right, but then I talked to her again, and she didn't seem to want it. Usually, like, uh... Once you have the item that's needed, you talk to the quest giver again, and they'll be like, Is that a... Is that a goddamn porridge? And then you say, Yeah. They say, Can we have it? And you say, No. And, they, and then... Like, this is probably it, no? I have the greens. I used a, um... I used a, uh... What did I use? A, a regular-ass uh, Hyrule herb. Should I have used something else? Maybe, like, um... I don't know, these all look like greens to me, man. Vegetables are all the same. <laughs> I don't know. You need greens. Wild greens is just generic for any type of plant. I have the. You mean I have the greens I need? So I'm assuming. Okay, so I, I. I guess I'm. Like I made the right porridge then, right? <laughs> this is. God damn it. I'm really dropping it. That's tense. Maybe the leader's in here. Oh dear, this isn't the place to go to sleep. Saguru's not far off, and if he finds out someone's been sleeping on one of the stone slabs, a priceless artifact, I'll be the one who gets it. Oh, he's sleeping on the stone slab. Oh yeah! Let's wake this guy's ass up and take a picture. The survey team discovered stone slabs in each of the ruins. They found this one in the ruin above huh. us. Our leader is able to read it, and he says the text on this slab is a record of a historic fight. 
one that was between a great king of that era and the demon king. The ruler did not or could not defeat the demon king and instead imprisoned that mighty foe. The text also says that uh, the sages who fought beside this ruler left something behind in case he returned. That sounds like an item I want. Aww. It worries me to know this discovery talks about a demon king's return, and here the upheaval has just happened. If only we knew what those sages did to prepare in case he came back. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to think of Fred at the same time there. You can read the deciphered writing for yourself. It's right next to the slab. Where's the inn owner? It's him! It's him! That guy! He came to change her beds, but then I realized he'd fallen asleep. Nothing wakes him up. Mm. He decided to doze on top of this slab. He's been saying truffle. He's having a dream of eating a hearty truffle. Mm. Oh, I'm... They're pretty rare. Oh, not rare enough, buddy. I got one of those. Are you gonna tell oh. me where I can find him? I don't need to go to that waterfall. <sighs> I gotta do something about this guy. Saguru's in the ruins above, and he'll come back here eventually. Well, I didn't see Saiguru, but I'm going to shove a truffle up your boss's ass. I swear I have a hearty truffle. Big hearty. I've got 14 hearty truffles. Get your feet off the... Oh, man, chill. I'm just trying to put... Look, you want me to... You want me to give him the truffle or not, Bob? Whatever the hell your name is. Hmm. Yeah, I know it's priceless. Your boss is sleeping on it. Here we go. Drop it on him. <laughs> oh. A gentle aroma with a strong, hearty undertone. My dear hearty truffle, I have you now. <laughs> Wake up. Oh. He's wearing a garland on his head. Could I have done that? Uh. Huh? What's that? What's that? Just a dream? Where am I? That's right. I was uh, ch ch changing the bed. That's what I did. Thanks for waking me up. I need to hurry back to the inn. Oh, that traveler's gonna be so mad at me. Damn right he is. He got mad at me, dude. All right. Now, I can have the hearty truffle back. Take a picture of the slab. Or not. What? Isn't this the whole point? Ah. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. The stone slab. Some translate. Oh, th this is how I read it. I don't take a picture of it. I, uh, I read the notes. Vast power. No hope. Victory. King's own life. Managed to imprison him. Not indefinitely. Prepare for revival. We sages must leave our knowledge. Future generations. Yeah. So he... Yeah. Now I get... Now, okay, I, I'm hoping that was enough. So I don't know how I'm gonna find my way back up here. But I'm hoping that... Now I can... Not only talk to... The inn owner and get that done. But also I could talk to that guy who wants me to tell him about all the stone slabs. And that will have been enough. Oh, this is a whole... A whole build. A whole Fortnite build here. Let's, um, let's get as many arrows as we can. You know how it is. Precious commodity. Precious commodity, sir. Okay, Link, let's take it easy here. Yeah. Uh-oh. They spotted me. Oh, shit. Come here. <laughs> I fucked up. These guys were cranking 90s. Mm -hmm. We tried slapping him. Well, that was my next... That's what I would have done. I would have pulled out my boomerang sword and given him the old... You know. But the, thankfully, the truffle... The truffle got him going. Alright, so... Two things, right? Okay, now I want the th quest to tell me where... I have three more to tell him, but this guy. Okay, please tell me I got one thing right. Ooh. Did you visit them? I read what's on the slab. 
You went to see the- Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, oh, ah! Ha, oh, ah! So, in this ancient battle, the king and the sages fought on them. Hmm, that's really something. Oh. Yeah, no, the Demon King's definitely coming back. Ooh. Just two left. Alright. That's a- that's a good- that's good. We- guys, we're doing it! <laughs> we're finally doing something. With our lives. And that makes me... A happy boy! There you go. Uh, no more watching the inn for me. Here's a little something for giving me back my free time. Ew. I don't... Bro, are you kidding me? I don't... <laughs> is this what you did while you were watching over the place? Slip resistance is cool, though. That's actually... That's <laughs> awesome. Four sticky frogs and a bokoblin horn. Wasn't that gross? <laughs> that was the last thing I wanted in return for my work. But... Yo, should I try one other... Before we leave, because I'm going to get the hell out of here. Should I try another... Um, another type of... Uh, porridge? Okay, so... Do I have sticky frogs? <laughs> Sticky frogs. Here's some frogs. Tireless, hot-footed, sticky! Four of them. And what do you say, a bokoblin horn? Which one of these is a... <laughs> There's so many animals. I'm just collecting animals' guts. Like, Link is actually unhinged. I'm just murdering shit and, like, pocketing trophies. What? No way, I don't have a Bokoblin horn. Blue Bokoblin. Sort this stuff. It's gotta be one of the lower end ones. Horoblin, Lizalfos, Frox, Moblin. Black, Horoblin, Boss, Bokoblin. You guys think it's bo Bokoblin, or do you think it's Bokoblin? I kinda like Bokoblin. It sounds like a chicken is goblin. Dude, I don't have Bokoblin's horns. What's going on? Oh wait. Oh there there it is. I have 200 201 of them. Okay. Cook these up. This will help Grammy. Yes. Link knows how to make his own his own well, I shouldn't say it. I think he's a little gremlin. 200, yeah, I've, I've murked 201 of those guys. Well, not including the ones I've murked so hard that they, like, disintegrated or drowned or fell off a cliff. Because I couldn't, uh... Rub... Yeah, well, that's... If you can fuse all this stuff together, why can't you, like, just fuse a frog to your own... Johnson, you know? That, I feel like that would help you climb. <laughs> um, okay, we're, we're gonna try the uh, the porridge one more time. Hylian rice, fresh milk, uh, dark clump. Although, do I have anything else that is that is about has to do with gloom? That's what I want to know actually, because maybe this is the wrong. I don't think I do, though. I'm pretty sure that's, like, the one. Maybe I need two of them. Two Gloom Resists. And... Wild Greens. Could you theoretically drown all your enemies? Uh, yeah. That'd be a hell of an experiment. <laughs> I don't have time. I don't know if it's got time for that. Head to the northeastern side of the Sky Island where you'll see lots of Sundalions scattered around. Grab a handful and then combine them with rice, fresh milk to make the sunny... That's what... Oh, she was talking about Sundalions too. Ah, oh, I knew I missed a hint. Thank you. Thank you, Heligata, so much. All right, I have those. We don't even have to go out of our way for them. I got Sundalions for days. 32. 32 Sundalions. Now, wait, I want to reduce... Uh, all right, f screw it. Here we go. 
Forge, baby. We're healing grandma! Oh shit. That's not right. I screwed it up somehow. Sundalot? <laughs> okay, okay, forget the- forget the- the dark clumps. Sundalion? We're almost out of milk. This better work. Oh my god. Yeah! yeah that, was a, that was a little much, too much excitement, maybe. But it, we, here we go, right? Hey, Lasley! I got one! What is that? <gasps> is that porridge? Could it be? Did you make a porridge that could help with gloom sickness? Have a little, uh -huh. have a little taste. A sunny veggie? I've never made anything sunny. Yes! Very well done, gang. Thank you, Hella. Mm -hmm. Dude, this is, this is sick. Well, grandmother, how was it? That was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. The color's coming back into your cheeks. Oh! <laughs> I feel so good! Oh. Oh, oh! Such gentle flavor. It didn't just nourish my body, but it also aroused me greatly. Thanks to you and my granddaughter, it seems I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so grateful to the both of you. Ah! What? Yeah! Ah! Now sell me the gimp suit for no money. Ah. Oh, you should hurry and prepare for your journey, lastly. Oh, she can go back to school now. Right, right? Uh -huh. Huh? You knew? <laughs> You can't get anything by her, Leslie. Besides, everyone knows studying fashion in Hatino Village is your dream. Grandmother and I can take care of Enchanted by ourselves. Trust me. What's Enchanted? Is that the name of their store? Ah. Clary? Are you sure you don't want to go study with her? Mm. Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't. But there's something else I want more. I want to make our store a success. Right here in my beloved village right next to my beloved grandmother. And ah. I dream of someday filling our store wall to wall with outfits you designed, lastly. This is such a, um, this is such a uh, functional family, eh? Like this is a good family. There's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of families like this in real life. Uh, we cured the old woman of her fatal illness. Surely this warrants giving us the gimp outfit for free. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Go- alright. Enough of your happiness. You're making me feel worse about myself. Okay. Let's see how much the gimp suit costs. I think it turned out pretty tasty, so I'd love to give you some to take on your journey. Oh, nice. But this isn't the same thing. Yeah! Uh, that's not the same thing. I want some gloom porridge. That's actually super useful. Gloom is this effect you get when you touch this certain stuff in the world, and it makes your hearts inaccessible until you, uh, fix it. And that porridge would fix it. So I kind of want some of it for myself, so... Watch out, chicken! God damn you! You know what, chicken? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wouldn't have hit you. Alright, let's make some of that for ourselves. Just one, because we're almost out. We're out of milk. I'm always out of milk. All right, that's gonna come in handy handy sometime soon. Now, where was that, uh, shop? Oh, now I gotta find the shop. Was this it? Yep, yep. God, I'm good. One gimp suit, please! Just slap the money down on the table. Eight. Oh no! I can only afford one piece. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You're still, you're still absolutely ah. gouging me here, lady. Ah. Oh wait, did she say special gift? Did she say special ah. gift? Like one of them for free? What? I shouldn't ah. have read that so fast. Hey. A 
Okay, I want to sell. Here we go. I got, I got. So this diamond sells for 500, which is amazing. I've only found one though. And there's another quest where to get a really special bow, I need three diamonds. So I kind of feel like I want to hold on to the diamond. Although if that bow is breakable, I don't, I don't want it anyway. Thank you for saving my grandmother's life. Have some rice porridge. <laughs> yeah. Aphrodite, do you have a favorite actor? Oh, uh, let's say it's a four-way tie uh, between Nick Cage, Keanu Reeves, uh, hence the name of the channel. <laughs> I don't even remember making this channel, by the way. I made it like three years ago and never used it, and then I dug it up and I was like, ah, well, it's good enough for me, I think. Uh, but Keanu Reeves, I absolutely love that guy. Nick Cage, love him to death. Uh, he's so entertaining. And then Owen Wilson and Jake Gyllenhaal round it out. Jake Gyllenhaal's got enough actual talent for all four of them. But they're they're just all so fun to watch. What's the thing on the stick? What thing? Oh, the thing on my stick? It's probably another stick. I probably fused two sticks together. She said you get a gift. Nice. Okay, that's cool. But I still have to buy. The, the gift will be right. Yeah. yeah, keep the diamond. Jake is amazing. And Night, yeah, Nick, Nightcrawler is one of his best performances. I went to the uh, Toronto Film Festival red carpet screening of Nightcrawler. Like the, the world premiere of it. Uh, and I, and I, Jake Gyllenhaal was there. He came out and did a QA and a afterwards. And... Um, he was really cool. He's also a little a little testy because people were asking him really stupid questions. I, I felt for him. I was like, I'd be I'd be a prick right now too if I were you. Because like one girl, after watching Nightcrawler, Jake Gyllenhaal is sitting right there. Ask him anything you want about his method, about his research, about what the movie meant to him. What he th and some girl goes, Jake, I just want to know, are you that weird in real life? <laughs> And it basically killed the rest of the entire Q&A. Yeah, I think Jake is raw more talented than Keanu Reeves. Because Keanu Reeves, at the end of the day, like, he's 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 turned in some bad performances, right? He's been miscast a few times. Um, but I love him. I, I feel like he's endlessly watchable. Even if he's not acting up a storm, he's one of the coolest humans around. So I really love watching him regardless. But Jake Gyllenhaal is like actually like just such a tight actor. Like Donnie Darko is my is my favorite movie, which is why my uh, YouTube channels are all branded with the rabbit. Saw Halle Berry at Tiff once. Well, that would have been exciting. I wouldn't have known what to say to Halle Berry. I saw you in Swordfish. <laughs> I mean, such a shame. Nick Cage wins because of Renfield. I have not watched Renfield yet, and I can't wait to. I can't wait to. I feel like I'm going to love that movie. But I feel like I have to... I've been reading a biography about Nick Cage's life and watching his old movies this past couple weeks. And I'm kind of like enjoying going through his his filmography chronologically. So I'll kind of like make my way back up to uh, Renfield. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's such a dumb question. It was such a dumb question. Are you that weird in real life? Like, is that supposed to be like a seductress kind of question? Like, it was so... A normal guy that got famous. Yeah, it kind of feels that way. Although he's also like, he's not very, his his story is not normal at all. He's he's definitely like a, he's a celebrity. Absolutely. I saw her from afar, like really far away. Well, that's cool still though. I used to feel like the kind of person who I would lock up entirely if um, I met a celebrity. And But these days... I have met a couple celebrities, and I've I, typically in a working environment, and I have to be cool. So I've kind of learned to just, uh, you know, they're just the whole they're just people too thing. Um, cer certain people, if I got to meet them, they'd still lock me up, though. I think I wouldn't know what to do with myself. But ah, uh, um, yeah, for the most part, I've been I've been pretty good at. I have to face the guy who played Winnie the Pooh in Blood and Honey soon. Well, you have to talk to him. What you, your your family member was the clown from Terrifier, and you have to talk to Winnie the Pooh from Blood and Honey. You live in like a horror mansion. 
Who would lock me up? Uh, basically, any of the four actors I, I uh, named earlier, they would lock me up. I wouldn't know what to say to them. Or like, um, uh, what's a good example? Uh, PewDiePie. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my god. You see, people like that, you can't say to them anything that's not already been said a million times, right? So that's what bothers me. It wouldn't even be nerves. It would be the idea that you, like you, you're going to bore them, regardless of like if you approach them, if you insist on talking to them and taking them out of their day, then it's an it's a it sucks for them, <laughs> regardless of how kind you are or how pure your intentions are. Like they have that happen to them all the time. So if I had the opportunity to meet someone like that, I wouldn't, I'd be like, well, I can say that you're, you inspired me or changed my life or any of that stuff, but they've heard it a million times. So it won't sound authentic to them. And there's this weird pull, like reverse polarization thing there where it's like, well, I know I mean it, but they'll feel like they know I don't. And you can't insist on it or you're being weird and aggressive. So it's just like, I would lock up. I wouldn't even want to talk to them. I don't think. Because there's just no way you're gonna you're gonna surprise them with some insight they've never heard before. That's unbelievable about uh, Winnie the Pooh, by the way. Uh, Bardic, I can't believe that about Winnie the Pooh. Give him a head nod. Yeah, yeah. I, like maybe wave or like, you know. Once I saw I, I ran into Russell Brand when I was living in England, and I asked him for a photo and hung out with him for a minute and asked like he was telling me about like a charity he was working with at the time or something like that. Keanu bought me an ice cream once. He was casually dating my aunt. <sighs> what kind of ice cream was it? James Dean. Uh, well, James Dean, the actor, <laughs> is long dead, so... I have a feeling I know what you're talking about. Um, you kept the cone from... Ew, that's a little... Just just eat the ice cream. I, well, I, I, no, I, I understand. I understand. You'd think maybe the cone will just hold and I can have it as a memoir forever. Okay. Okay, Aphrodite. Okay. <laughs> I'll shake that guy's hand, if you know what I mean. Um, sorry, what am I doing? Okay. I want, okay, I have enough money now. I want just the gimp mask. All right. Yeah, you got me. Hell yeah. When you buy a piece of clothing, we're offering us, yeah, so what's the special gift? Oh. Oh, I can make a new paraglider with that design? That'll be cool. You're welcome for my patronage. And you're also welcome for your grandmother's life. Okay. Um. This little kid, man! I just want to beat it in a race. Come on, John. <laughs> oh, isn't there a... Um, isn't there some kind of a puzzle with these frogs? There's something going on with these frogs. You can't pick them up, though. Kotla, do you know what the frogs want? I can't visit Mommy's grave because the wing wound's blocking, so I pray from heal. Secret base? Tell me about your secret base. So when Daddy and Big Sis are at work and I'm all alone, it's it, well. I, uh, what if I do this? <laughs> well, I want to know about the secret base. Well, I don't think I can. I can't make myself invisible. I can't like. I don't know. I. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll hear about the base if I if I figure out what's going on in this town so that she can leave. Um. All right, I'd say we got enough done here, right? And let's, okay, we're, I want to put the gimp mask on, but, um, Josh Bailey, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't looking for that answer from her, but that's what she's doing. Okay, I'm going to put the gimp mask on, guys, but not until we're in the dark, because it's glow in the dark, right? So let's, let's, okay, here's what we're doing. This is going to be really cool. I'm going to show you guys the, um, 
the inverse of the sky islands in this game, which I've been I've been avoiding telling you what they are, but Here we go. Now we're going to all experience it together. Okay. So which which way? I want to go here. Sure. A pot. It's not showing me the pot on the mini-map. What use is that? Okay. So. It's pretty far that way, so I'm going to get this thing to shoot me. Am I pointing in the right direction? Pretty much, more or less. Whoa. There it is. Here we go, everybody. Let's go a little more this way. So this is what's called a chasm. Or I think it's called a chasm. What the hell? Oh, the game froze. 10 out of 10. Here we go. This is one of the cra- this is like probably the craziest new addition to this game. The game froze again! It's having some trouble. <laughs> okay. I love that- that- that sound stinger. Look at it go. Oh, cool. <laughs> that was kind of close. All right, so this is the depths. And from my experience, there's not a ton to get done down here. It's more of like a place that you come to farm certain materials. You bring as many stone hammers as you can and you just break up. You get this this stuff called zonite that, that you can then turn into stuff that makes your, your devices last longer. If that, any of that made any goddamn sense. But, um, I've found some cool stuff down here. But I'm not gonna hang out down here too long because it's just, chances are, a whole lot of nothing's gonna go down. I found one really big structure that was cool. And I fought a boss or two down here. Yeah, yeah, Gimp Mask is coming. Just wanna get back into the dark real quick. Alright, it's time. Get these pose light out. Here we go. Ready, every- I don't think anybody's ready for this, but... Ready to serve you, my lord. Someone, uh, link, uh, link, link, link up with, uh, the writer of Fifty Shades. We got a nice crossover. Oh, and you know what also put on? My mind garb. Which makes... Oh my god. Which makes me glow. This is... This is an intense new link. We've been... <laughs> We've been experiencing this world one way, and now, uh, we're ch we're rewriting the book. We're changing up the game. Looks like he's got underwear on his head. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Looks like his head's an ass. Is that what you meant? That's what I meant. I love this mechanic of shooting the um, the arrows with the bubs the bubs on them the bulbs on them. What is this thing? Uh, can I climb it? I've never seen a rock that looks like this. This is crazy. This is gross. I'm gonna shoot a bomb at it. So I don't think I can break these. No, that's the noise that makes when you can't break it. But. Damn. That's a shame. A reverse? No. There's something up with this. Anybody? When did I try to play it? I tried to nuke it. Yeah. Or wait, I got one other kind of bomb, I guess. But I don't. I don't know if this. If this bomb is more. 
I have time bombs. But I don't know if this is more handy than... Just put her into the base there. Here we go! Nothing. That's pretty crazy. That's a... Oops. Oh no! I didn't know I could do that. That was sick. I didn't know I could put a bomb on an arrow. Or like a time bomb on an arrow, rather. I've been putting regular bombs on arrows for a long time. It just went off in the distance over there. That was cool. Okay, so... I'm just going to go to this root over here. Wait, wait a second. Oh, it's just, that's just gotta be a statue, right? It's kind of terrifying. This root serves as like a, a save point for the depths. So I've, I've explored like a pretty good chunk of this area, but not anything this far east. So I will get this one save point and then we'll warp. We'll warp back out of here because it's kind of just an endless. This is a fun area to roam around in when like I was using the switch handheld the other night. Just in, in bed, just playing a bit as I was trying to pass out. And I was roaming these depths, and I was uh, pretty into it. The, the way that they do the darkness is crazy. Like, you straight up can't... I've shot these ball barrows, and it's hit, like, a wall directly in front of my face that I didn't know was there. Um, it's fascinating. It's such a cool idea. And I love the spores in the sky. Reminds me of The Last of Us a little bit. And ultimately, you know, you stumble upon some pretty terrifying stuff in the dark. So it adds, it's, I don't know, it's a... Uh... See, oh, Bardic, have a, uh, have a great night. Thank you so much for joining today. It was a lot of fun having you in here, and uh, tell uh, Art the Clown and Winnie the Pooh I say hi. Okay? Make sure that they know that Mystery Recapped knows who they are. <laughs> say hello to Art the Clown for me. Actually, it's more important that you talk to Winnie the Pooh for me, I, I would say. So, see, the light root dispelled the darkness surrounding the area. And now, I can come back to this exact point whenever I want, which is dope. But for now, I'm thinking... Let's delete this stamp. I'm thinking... I want to go to another shrine. Real quick, like. And we'll see what else is going on. It's 10 o'clock here. I've been on this stream for three hours. I'm really, uh, really digging this. You know, it's more fun than, uh, playing alone. And I, you know, I'm, I'm a full grown adult at this point in my life, and I have yet to stop playing video games. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm not just going to turn a page someday and suddenly I'm my dad, you know? I'm pretty sure I'm going to be gaming forever. For, I'm a lifer. So. Also, I mean, it, I work in the video game industry, so I feel like I'm doing my job when I, <laughs> when I play these games. Kind of keeping tabs on what's new. What are the people enjoying? I am one of the people. So, I don't know, it's a win, win, win. And now if I stream it on Twitch, I mean, it's like, it's such a, it's a bonus. Get to hang out with you guys. This is, um, I guess this is why people do Twitch. At the end of the day. Now I'm gonna try to see if Mystery Recapped will, uh, allow me to, like, advertise a specific Twitch stream in a video or something. And I'll do, like, a Q&A for that general audience. And that might, that might pull a bunch of people into the stream. That'd be really cool. Okay. <laughs> Give me your seed, little imp. It has a distinct smell. I can never tell if, if Nintendo's being, uh, w weird, you know? I can never tell if, if they're just... 
I don't know. I appreciate you downloading Twitch just to watch, Charlotte. That, uh, that's really nice of you. I um, I think I, I did the same thing not so long ago. Like, first signed into Twitch just so I could watch a person. And, and then I realized Twitch is actually quite easy to use. Um, it's neat. I, I've never been uh, really invested in Twitch. I've never really understood how it works. I've seen certain content creators complain about how, like, the... Uh, the ad revenue splits are getting less and less in favor of the creators, and it's becoming harder and harder to earn a living on Twitch. So I I would never drop everything to try to just be on Twitch all the time. I think that would be really hard. I have crazy respect for the big names who, who literally just stream all day every day. I just I don't understand. Although I kinda I guess I kind of understand because I'm having fun doing this right now. It's been three hours. I don't feel like it's it would be hard to go that much longer. Um, but yeah, people people who are on it every day, it's it's a crazy grind. Okay, let's try. <laughs> I mean, this feels fairly obvious to me. Whoa. Okay. So far so good. Okay, stay there. Damn right, better than a bubble What? What does it want from me now? This is insane. These, these, some of these shrine puzzles are so crazy. What is this gonna do? <gasps> Nothing. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> How far up can I get this? Oh, wow. All right. So if I use reverse on that, it'll go back up. I don't know what this is for. This is a cr creative ass puzzle. Could not tell ya. Oh, what? There's more? Dude, what is this shrine? This is... perhaps too much? Wait, did they not want me to do anything in that last room? Yeah, it's... yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, when I first got into making stuff on YouTube, it was like, I don't know, like seven years ago now, and, and all I wanted to do was, um... Yeah, the ball. Oh, I know what's up. I know what I have to do. Um... Can I stick this? To this? Yeah. Okay, special delivery. Okay, I guess that's not attached to anything. What the hell is this? I re Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! Um... Link, stop looking weird like that, man. Stop looking at me like that. Okay, not quite. Uh, I have an idea. <laughs> Easy with these arrows. Um, okay. First of all, turn this off. 
can't even hear myself think. Link, you, you gotta... We'll keep you in the mask for now, but... Uh, kind of freaking me out. Is Link freaking anybody else now? Ball tread needs to touch the cable. Ball tread. God, it won't show me. Ball tire. Yeah. So. Wait a sec. Okay, screw the tire. Screw the tire. Screw the tire. Let's just let's just keep this simple, right? Hold it as high up as we can for a little while now. You'll see why in a sec. Okay. Now, quick link, quick, 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 quick. Hell yeah. Reverse. Come on back now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I needed the tire too. Maybe I should have done that exact same thing, but with the tire as well. You guys praising me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Hell. Yeah, I, fig I figured you guys would be shocked. That was a pretty big, big play. Personally, maybe the smartest thing I've ever done. Uh, I don't know if you can beat that. On paper or otherwise. Maybe I'll send a, a recording of this stream into Google. And they'll hire me. What? Oh no. Why on, why on earth? Wait a sec. More of a monster? Maybe tires aren't the right play for a boat. Maybe if I... Maybe the ball's too heavy? I sure hope not. I didn't want to work to get this thing here. Can I use my items? No, it won't let you use your items in the shrines. Hmm. Move the boards. Move the boards to the water. These boards? You think I just make a bridge all the way across? I'm sure the bridge would do it. But... Check this out. When in doubt, build a bridge. Let's see if this... Yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, what's up, King? Welcome back. Just, uh, did you- did you get to see King Link in the Gimp mask yet? Gen generating lunch. <laughs> Nothing like a, a well-generated lunch. Alright, we're doing this all the way. Oh, here, take a look at Link real quick. Okay. Now, if that doesn't give you nightmares, I don't know what will. Link does not look well. I don't think I'm- I don't think this is good for his mental health to be in this thing. I don't even need this one. What am I even doing? Alright. Do we- I- man, imagine we don't even need the ball. Uh, this is a- this is a weird shrine. I can't quite tell what it wants from me. But... Good enough for me. What is this, the entrance? Oh! Oh, 
right, I forgot there was a ball slot. Open up. Guess who's coming for dinner? It's me. It's me. I'll be with your dinner. Whoops. Show of hands, who would invite this guy for dinner? I, like, as much as I'd love to meet Link, um, not like this. Not like this. It's <laughs> you do that Taylor Swift song. I know what you're doing. My wife and I saw you from across the shrine. We dig your vibe. We were wondering if you would come for dinner. Uh, just give me the blessing of light, please. The light and blessing, excuse me. That's a nice, that's a nice, uh, uh, nice thought there, King. Not that scary to me. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, and he still saved the kingdom, so. Still a, a worthwhile, a worthy dinner guest, I guess, in my mind. Yeah, Link could put on whatever the hell he wants. All right, that was a good shrine. That was a weird-ass shrine. Jeez. Uh, now, I kind of want to go to the wetlands one, too, while we're at it. Now, what is this? That's got to be another one, I guess. But I also, I kind of want something to happen. For the sake of us all. I don't know if just... I don't know if just shrining around is uh, is the way to go. If we're if we're winding this stream down at any point. Which, I, I, I don't know. Are there really still this many of you in the chat? Or is this just like how many have been in the chat before? I have a feeling this is just a, a list of how many have been in here before. No? I don't know. How are you guys doing? How's everybody doing? You guys, uh, you guys chilling? Are you enjoying enjoying Zelda? Eleven people? That's pretty good, in my mind. That's a good crew. Been having fun. Yeah, I'm thinking the battle quest. I'm thinking. I'm feeling the battle quest. I'm just going to. Uh, oh, it's nice to see you too. I appreciate that. Um, I think I want to keep I want to keep streaming. Uh, I think I'm just going to take a quick break, and uh, so I'll be back in. Uh, give me ten minutes, so I can go. Like stream, I uh, you watch streamers and you think like, oh, I guess they never have to urinate, you know. But I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna piss real quick and uh, check my phone, make sure I didn't miss anything. I'll be back. ASAP. Let me just put on some cool music and put you guys in the be right back. Oh, did that kill the music? Hold on, hold on. If that kill, I don't want that to kill the music. Let's get PC music properties device audio output device. Okay, go back here. Audio output capture. Here we go. Okay. All right, everybody. I'll be back in uh, 10 minutes. Start recording again. All right, we're, we're recording again. Uh, same time as you in Ontario. Oh, right on. Ontario has been my home for um, the majority of my life. Um... When I was a kid, I was born in Cambridge, Ontario. It's time to sleep. But it's a holiday tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same as you. Uh, like, uh, if, if, if I had to work tomorrow morning, then I certainly wouldn't be here still, but... Or maybe I would, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit of a night owl regardless, actually. But, uh... Yeah, it's awesome to have this, this holiday. I love holidays so much. Makes me feel like I wish life was just a permanent holiday. Wouldn't that be great? Alright, 
I'm gonna get as close as I can to this goal point before I jump. And then Link's gonna jump. Three hours behind us? Oh, that's great. Who needs to sleep? What's, uh, what kind of work are you getting done? If you don't mind me asking. You don't have to answer that question if you don't want to, but, uh... I'm curious. I don't have a job at the moment, so every day's a holiday. God, I miss that. Back in the day, back in the day when I was working in film, um, you know, I'd have like, maybe I'd work for like, t look at, look at how cool the lighting is with Link's little glowy suit in the night with these trees. This is what I'm talking about where like the fidelity of this game's not great, but the, there's just something about it that, was that a shooting star? What the hell? Whoa! Let's see what that is. Let's go to that. Dude, what? And that's kind of close to our destination anyway, right? Well, let's see. Red thing. Holy crap, never mind. That's really far away. No, let's do it. Let's do it. We have to, right? Oh, this strike. Charlotte, are you talking about the, uh, the Writer's Guild strike? Are you a writer? Oh, films, Charlotte. That, that would make sense. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to hear that. But hopefully, the strike does what it's intended. And, uh, it results in you getting better pay, right? VFX editor. I didn't realize that, um... I didn't realize that the strike affected, uh... Editors as well. I thought it was just writers. Oh, but there's something going on with the VFX industry, isn't there? As well. Yeah, they, um... I'm not super dialed into the, the film industry anymore these days, but... Well, there's a lot going on with this stuff right now. Where... No shooting, no editing. Oh, that makes sense. If the writing's not happening, then nothing's happening. That makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of a... It's a downer for everybody, because it, it just means that there's, like, sort of a halt in general being put on production. And I know that, like, certain shows, like, certain really good shows, like, uh, Severance, for example, just, like, production stopped. But that's how it should be. I mean, I also heard that the Lord of the Rings show is going to c continue <laughs> without the writers being on set, which just sounds like, you know, probably not a huge difference, honestly. The Lord of the Rings show is not very well written, but... Alberta? AB's Alberta, right? Whoa. Dimitri, what are you doing? Oh! Uh... What if I sh... Um... Let's get some ice... Some... Some fire goop. Let's get some fire goop out of these. Give me your goop. Give me all the goop. Dude, I'm so excited to figure out what that shooting star was. That was really cool. I teach part-time. I'm writing a math tutorial. That's awesome. My uh, my younger brother teaches part-time as well. Uh, he finished school a couple years ago, and he's, he's on a board in uh, Kingston, Ontario. And he just takes constant supply teaching jobs. That's awesome, though. I'm uh, really happy to hear that, because we, the world needs... Kind, talented, and uh, intelligent teachers, and there's not, there's ultimately not a lot of them. Uh, and I know that you're all three of those things who needs to sleep. So I'm glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that you're a teacher. Math is uh, not my forte either. Well, it was for a little while until I hit calculus. I was good at trig. Um, On my own place, and I get to be alone, so yeah, I like it better than BC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're in Alberta, Charlotte, did you work on, um... Did you work on The Last of Us? I know that they shot that whole thing in, in Alberta. That'd be like the dream. It was a really good show. Probably the best video game adaptation we've had. No. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> just, uh, just guessing. Ant-Man? Oh my god, I bet the, the VFX, if you're doing VFX, I bet that, like, the Marvel projects are just an absolute, like... That must be so intense. 
you guys probably have like no um, the deadlines must be crazy. I heard that on uh, She-Hulk, for example, the VFX editors were putting in last touches like the sec like seconds before the show went to air. Oh, what happened to the shooting star? This is supposed to be it, no? Was I too- did I take too long? No! Nay! Oh, that's a- that's anticlimactic. Expired. Extra- lunch has been extirpated. <laughs> Yeah, She-Hulk sounded like a nightmare, and it sounded like it might have it might have broken the industry a little bit in terms of the VFX. That might be one of the reasons that, or no, I'm sorry, it's a writer's strike, not a VFX strike. All right, well, I missed the shooting star. Next time we see one, we'll we'll try to get there even faster. Um, but where's our mission? Oh God, it's way back there. Um, I've already marked that shrine. Let's go to this shrine, since we've already come so far, and then I'm gonna go back to the Sky Island and jump down to the, uh, the war. The war mission. <laughs> yes. Yeah, maybe it was Saruman. <laughs> you never know when, when Saruman might be around. Have you guys seen that, um... Wait, it was so Charlotte was it was Ant-Man your favorite project you've worked on? Yeah, I, I was I was making tracks to that star, but it's it I feel like it No, not your favorite. what's your favorite project you've worked on? Wait, was this Hatino Village? When oh you worked on Wednesday? The mystery recapped video for Wednesday did really well. Because that was a that, that show was just a, not because I didn't I don't think I even did a very good job of, of narrating that one but it's just I'm sorry God I'm sorry I didn't actually um, yeah that show was really cool it was really successful people loved the uh, the edginess Jenna Jenna Ortega became a pretty pretty much a household name as a result of that and then I watched um, Scream Six the other night and she was she was okay in that and the other. Uh, the other main actress was really good in that as well. I can't remember her name, but I think that she's a um I think that she's a pop star that also acts. Oh Boba Fett, jeez. You've worked on some cool stuff. I haven't seen Boba Fett. I really liked Mandalorian seasons one and two. But then uh, I heard that Boba Fett was kinda kinda weirdly like Trying to do its own thing, and then they kind of gave up and made it a Mandalorian show as well, or something like that. And I haven't, I haven't watched Mando season three yet either, but I intend to. But yeah, that's 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 too bad about the strike. I'm sorry to hear it. Hopefully, hopefully that uh, comes back around sooner than later. I'm sure it will, and I'm sure that when it does, you know, there will be a new precedent set to uh, to get people like yourself uh, paid better. It's kind of- it's getting crazy the way that, like, the cost of everything has gone up so much that, like, companies- their expenses are now higher across the board, but then, like, employees can't afford good lifestyles, so they also want more money, but the company is already stretched by the way everything's going up and they can't afford to pay the employees more. It's just brutal everywhere. I had the same issue, it's why I changed jobs. Um, And why I've been happy that Mystery has been around for so long. Layoffs. Yeah, especially in the, uh... The tech industry. Big layoffs. Like, scary layoffs. Uh, what do I want here? I need a slashy. I need a slashy weapon. Do I not have any slashies? Oh, that's a sla- that's a slashy. Let's check out what's in here. This is a pretty good well. Usually the wells have nothing going on. <laughs> Get out of here, you case. You little case. Four for four? 
Oh, Link's a sniper! Whoops. Dude, and the Luchador mask is starting to glow again. Hey, Brotato! I still haven't gotten Owen, Owen's voice to, to play through the chat, I apologize for that. But I promise you, he's saying wow. And it's just for you. In that case, it was just for you. Put that there. Get on it. No, not today, not today! Dude, there's three of them, there's three of them! What the f- Yeah! M mess with Lucho. Mess with Lucho, you go and you get the axe. You mess with the bull, you get Link's horn. Now what's in here? Ah, oh, I can't carry it. Damn it. I don't know, man. Um Let's uh let's 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 combine two of these, shall we? So we'll do the kite shield first and then uh There we go. Now we don't now we don't waste it. I still don't really know what it does to fuse shields together, honestly. I want these key side balls cuz they they give me homing homing arrows. But the rest of them, the rest of the stuff I don't care about. Actually, the wings are good too cuz they give you long shot arrows. You can get headshots from like a mile away. So hold on. Bear with me. I want all of this stuff. I guess I could swim. That was faster, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it... Oh! Have a great night. Have a great night, Narwhal. Uh, thanks for thanks for coming back. You were here, and then you were gone, and then you are here again. Appreciate it. It's been fun chilling. Um, okay, I need another rock weapon so that I can mine efficiently. This cave keeps going. Look at all these frogs! Give me the frog! Give me. Yeah! That's a pretty good, pretty good run with the frogs there. See, this axe takes four swings to get a, me a regular mine job done, which is not good enough. Do I have a weapon that I can... Let's take the long, long stick. Jesus, the stick. It's right off the screen. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to destroy the second one and then make a sledge out of it because now, now I can do a little bit more mining. And should we do that with something else as well? I don't know. Throwing spear. Boomerang's throwing spear. Oh, I meant to test that out with you guys, actually. We're, we're going to try that on the next fill-in. Where'd it go? Here. Okay. This is going to be cool because it's the... <laughs> It's the boomerang that's the base of this weapon, so ideally I'll still be able to throw it, but it's got a spear attached to it, so I don't know what's going to happen. There we go, we're mining now. Dude, wow. This is quite a cave. Yeah, it, it should come back. Like, yeah, I should be able to wing it, and it'll be, like, spinning with the spear, the spear of death, spinning off the side of it. Get gone! Get gone, you rocks! Let me out of here. Oh, God. Oh, shit, there's something in there. Okay, chill, Link, chill. There, now we can go. More book more horriblins. I hate these fuckers. There there's something really wrong about these guys. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna... No, I'll ice one of them. Hey, put it on ice! That was pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna test this. We're testing the boomerang. Ready? These guys are on me a little much, but here we go. Whoa! Well, it didn't come back. Maybe that's just because it did so much damage. Hold on, let's try again. Oh, no, it's, it doesn't come back. Guys, stop it with your weird- I'm gonna hit him with my biggest weapon. Dude, this guy's got- this guy's got energy. 
I'll light him on light, lightning him up. <laughs> Well, the last one drowned, and that one was uh, electrocuted to death. I don't know what it is. Something about those enemies brings out the worst in, in Link. Not in me. It's not my fault. What is there a lawn stick doing in the ceiling? Well, that was interesting. Quick drown. <laughs> they like hot, so ice is good. Oh, that's okay. I didn't know that actually. I was gonna, I was gonna ice him. Or I mean, I was gonna uh, hit him with a fire arrow. I guess that wouldn't have been as effective, so. Lucky break. Did I pick up my boomerang thing again? I don't think I did. Unless the boomerang broke. Oh no, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's drop. Uh, uh, do I want this? Hold on. I want this, but without. Yeah, I want this extra durability stick. I'm gonna need to keep mining, so I gotta drop something else. But all this stuff is pretty good. So I'll drop this and grab my boomerang thing back. All right, that's good enough. Hey, the word hurricane, thank you for, for hanging out. Almost five, geez. Thanks for staying up. Oh my gosh. Have a great night. I'm glad you were here. Uh, let me see. Have we gone full circle in this cave? I feel like I've lost track of where I am. This is an insane cave. This just keeps going around. Come here, you lizards. Those are sticky lizards, so they might make the the, the same sticky uh, the the jizz jars like the um, the other thing I was the other thing I was killing the frogs the sticky frogs. Uh. Oh. Oh. Almost put it into sleep mode. So. Screw it, we're doing it live! That works. What now? I I have completely lost track of where I am. We were already here. Yeah, we did this. Now, uh oh. Well, the thing with wells, they're not the same as caves. Caves in this game, you can, you can, uh, like, complete them. Like, you can see, eventually they get a check mark if you find everything. But the wells, ooh, this is, this is what I was looking for. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Alright, seriously, do your thing. Do your thing! <laughs> That's, that's what I'm talking about. Let's just go at him with this. Oh, that's too bad. What do you got in here for me? Another shield of the mind's eye. I don't even want this one, you know? I keep having to go out of my way to make those things fit in my inventory. I'm sure they're good. I'm sure they're probably better than some of what I got. Oh, that was some valuable stuff in that one. I have no idea what ambers do, by the way. Look at look at this ambers, 115. What what do I do with this thing? Yeah, the yeah the like likes are the like likes crap are crap. They're they take so long to kill, and then they always drop a chest, but the chest is always kind of weak. Res dinosaurs. All right, if you say so. I'll hold on to it then. I'll never sell it because I'm kind of hoping to find me some dinos. This is new. 
or maybe it's not. I blew through that already, but I didn't go up here. <laughs> I just burst through the floor with the luchador mask on. <laughs> Scarier than a horrible one these days. Yeah, yeah, I, I got the, I got the reference. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to say there's no dinosaurs in Zelda. Such a good movie. I wish Spielberg would go back to making uh, crazy popcorn flicks, but he's he's pretty dead set on making serious movies and for the for the final stretch of his career. Uh, what was it? His new one, The Fablemans, was really really good. Sort of an autobiography, or a, an autobiopic, I guess you would call it. Okay, I feel like we've seen this whole well. Let's just get out of here. We're bursting out. Dude, I remember getting an Aerodactyl. That was like the most exciting. The, the, the fossil Pokemon in the first Pokemon batch was like nothing. Nothing was more exciting than that. Ooh, the dies. So we're in Hatino for sure. So... Wait. We saw a shrine here, right? Let's do the shrine so that we get the save point. So that we can come back. Oh my gosh. This is a nice town. I'm a fan! If I- so far, from everything I've seen, if I had to live in this world, I would choose this place. Especially with this theme. Listen to this music. What would you even call this instrument? That's really nice. Look at this place. We've done all right. Hey, everybody. The dream. Are you talking about the third one where the Velociraptor talks to her on the on the plane, or the second one where it cut, dissolves from the dinosaur screaming to Jeff Goldblum yawning? Oh, the first one, yeah. That was that was a hell of a decision. That was uh, that that almost like killed the third movie on its own, or made it, depending on how you look at it. a weird franchise. I, I really don't like the new ones. Chris Pratt doing this to the Velociraptors. Controlling them somehow with that super serious look on his face. It's just, I can't take it seriously at all. Scoop it out! Holy. Scoop it out, they say. Alright, well. Oh, look! It's a whole pit full of balls! And we want to bring it up and around and dump it in there. And then we're golden. So. What is this? I can't use it. But I can probably... Okay, it looks like it's a conduit. So I have to figure out a way to make it continue. Maybe with these panels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one, we're probably gonna need to stick a couple together. Excuse me. Oh, we're gonna need a third one, even. Yeah, connect the power panels, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I hate Chris Pratt. I... I liked him in the first Guardians movie. I felt like that's where he was really earning his, like, superstar status. I really liked him as, uh, Star-Lord. But then, I don't know, he's become... He's become, like... I don't I, I was watching a bunch of interviews with him for the Super Mario Bros. movie. And he just came off as so, like... Just sort of like a, like, I want these movies to do... 
that didn't work. Sort of like a, I want these movies to do well so that I can keep getting paid kind of mentality. It didn't feel like... Like, he kept saying, listen, I got kids, and... So I know, like, how important this is, and I, I gotta do Mario right, and all that. But I, I didn't think he gave... I don't, I don't think he turned in a very inspired performance as Super Mario, if you ask me. And, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't love his energy. I don't think that was a port on the wheel. He left his wife when he got famous. I didn't know that. What? Jeez. Yeah, it's just a, yeah, exactly. Like good for him for getting the role, but I like as I think Jack Black was Jack Black and um Ke uh Peel, Keegan Michael Peel, what the hell's his name? Key I always get Key and Peel confused, but he was really cool as Toad and and Jack Black was easily the highlight of the whole thing for me. And then uh who else? I liked I liked Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong even though he clearly it was like just <laughs> do the laugh Seth. But that killed me in the theater. Keegan Michael Key, yeah, yeah. They were good, but even even Charlie Day as Luigi, like Charlie Day's feeling a little bit like whenever I see him in an interview these days, he seems a little washed to me. Like he's just tired. He seems like he's tired. He's like he's he's working himself to the bone. He just directed a movie called Fool's Paradise that I want to see, but um, I don't know. He just didn't seem all that into it either. So what what am I trying to? <laughs> I don't know how to connect these two along the wall here. That first one, I nailed it immediately. But this... Like, you can't stick these panels to the wall, and I can't lean them up against the wall. Or, I mean, I don't think I can. Attach. Attach to what? Hold on, I saw the attach... ...notification there. What are we attaching to? But yeah, like, even if that holds, I don't think it's powering it on. You don't need to that one. Just stick the ball to the wheel. Okay, all right. Um, so, how do I... What I'm thinking is, if we put like a... that like that it'll scoop it right and then if I can stick one of the balls to the scoop and then rush up the ladder and discon oh no it's gonna break off oh uh 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 yeah yeah bring it down okay and then there we go All right Let's rush, let's rush. Here it comes. Thank you, sir. It's not exactly how I feel like they planned for me to do it, but I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, that works. I don't think I got the mini chest. I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's in the ball pit? I don't want to... I don't want to... You know what's in ball pits? Syringes. That's what's in ball pits. I'm not... I'm not getting Link a case of the old AIDS. Digging around in that ball pit. Thank you. Yeah, I thought the Mario movie was okay, you know? Like, it's about as good as those... Like, this is a whole... Like, this whole... This whole... I'm not gonna poop in it, AZ, but... You know. I'm sure I could have flung something that resembles poop. I've got so much stuff in my inventory. Flung something in there. Yeah, unfortunately, as the superhero fad is dying... We have to come to terms with the fact that superhero movies, or I mean, uh, video game movies are the new thing. Until... <laughs> yeah, Dark Lump. <laughs> Is that really what it's called? Is that... What, the gloom resistance thing? 
<laughs> Here it is. Yeah, dark. Oh, dark clump. Same, same shit. Same shit. Shazam two. No, I saw the in the ad. Um, <laughs> he throws a bus at a at a dragon, and then he goes, huh, "I just threw a bus at a dragon." And then there's like the needle drop, and then it cuts to the next part. And I was just like, "Not anymore, man. I can't do this anymore." It was it was fine when. <laughs> You know, the first couple times Captain America or Thor made an observation like that, it was like, it was like, okay. Like, you know, this is fun because superheroes are new, but like, I don't know. It feels like there's a, there's too clear of a formula now for those. And, and it's tired. The formula is, tra it's, see, it's very transparent. And I feel like the writers are getting lazy with it. It's like, oh, we just throw in a little bit of X, a little bit of Y, and then we got ourselves a superhero movie. It just, they need to be more um, more character driven than they are. They need to feature more like dynamics and change and development. And it's instead, it's just all about like, let's build it up to the CG out like climax, which Charlotte, great, great job. The, C the CG always looks incredible in those. So that's so cool that you worked on Ant-Man. David F. San Who's David F. Sandberg? I don't think I've heard of David F. What was that noise? Oh, <laughs> look at the little Chudleys. Look at the little Chudleys. Let's wake them up with this mask. <laughs> this is a morning this child will never forget. <laughs> it's me, your sleep paralysis demon, Link. <laughs> Alright, well, what's up, kid? I'm the secretist agent. That's cute. Watch and learn. <laughs> that kid's gonna be a, grow up to be a sociopath. But the other one was pretty cute. Well, let's raid their- let's raid their pantry while they're passed out. Oh, it's mom! <laughs> so fashionable. I love that this is like... This is the town in all of Hyrule that's like fashion obsessed, and everyone's just wearing mushroom hats. And I guess that is, those are all the craze. And everything's made out of mushrooms. Wait, what? What is this? Just like a lamp? Um. Do I have a mission in Hatino, or should we just, should we go back to that, uh... I don't think I have anything to do here yet. Oh! The research lab. Oh, and this gives me the shrine detector. Um... The sneakiest? <laughs> Remember that from the, um... What was it? Deathloop? That was a fun one. I kept going with that Deathloop series, but I, I filmed an episode that was like, I think it was like an hour and a half of footage. Because the whole time I was trying to do this one specific thing where I like raided a party. There's this party where everyone was wearing fox masks and I tried to like sneak around in it. And I it was like an hour and a half recording and I just looked at the task of editing it down to like 20 minutes. And I was like, ah. Oh. Night, you tell. Thanks for joining, man. Thank you for, for making a Twitch account just to hang. I really appreciate it. Sleep well. Sleep fantastically well. I hope you wake- I hope you have a great dream about Link and his luchador mask. That would be my, uh... That would be my preference. No, editing is, uh... Well, there's a thing about editing. When- when I'm making... Let's Plays... Uh, like, I'm always hesitant to start. Once I get it going on it, though... Time... Melts faster than any other thing I could do with my life. Like, I, and I, I would say that that, you know, that's enjoyment. I get into it, I start, like, feeling out the pace, I start punching in on stuff and finding the funny parts and trimming it down, and... I just go, 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 go. And then nothing feels better than finishing a video and posting it, and then, like, I would set up the, the live premieres and stuff as well. It's always... It was always super fun, but... I don't know, like, I keep doing this thing to myself. I did it with Elden Ring, I did it with Callisto Protocol. 
where I want to be playing the game more than I want to be editing. So I just keep shooting episodes. And then next thing I know, I've got like a bank of like 10 of them that need to be edited. And it's just so daunting. And I, I have so much trouble finding time anyway that like when I do find time, I'm like, well, I, I want to do something other than edit right now. Four hours. Jeez. <laughs> I really, yeah, I, I am having fun. I had no idea it had been four. Well, yeah, holy smokes. I don't know, I kind of feel like... I might just, I might just go for ten. Should we shoot for ten? I mean, I feel, I'm, I'm gonna play the game anyway. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be up late tonight, so... I don't know. I might take little breaks here and there, but I'm, I'm probably just gonna keep playing for a while. I'm really, I'm really, like, this is so much fun. Oh, this is a, uh... This is a joystick, which you can use to... Oh, no! He needs to reach his friend. However, I'm gonna- I'm gonna do this quest first, and then I'll get him- I'll get him to his buddy. Because usually when they want to see their friends, they're like... Just a god-awful distance away. Oh. If I jump anymore, I won't make it to the top, so it's a good time for some Mountain Dew. Yeah, it's- it's hard to get- or it's hard to... Yeah, to get into the groove. But I find that once you're in it, you, you, it's like stay in it or bust, you know, like, oh, one oh, last leap. Yeah, Link. Like, I, I find that, um, <laughs> yeah, that guy, that guy can, he'll be there when I come back, you know, he's not going anywhere. That's the whole point. He's too lazy. Um, held a message. Oh, oh, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Hell, I got us used the F word, so, uh, my little shield told me that, um. I had to accept the message. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. It's a funny message. I don't really know what to, like, how strict to set up censorship in the chat because I just don't know how clear. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. Say it. Say the F word all you want. It's uh, not, an, not an issue at all. I'm just, uh, I think I set, like, a censorship uh, filter up just in case, like, people somehow jump in that don't know me and, like, want to drop, like, anything hateful or whatever. But, um, no, I'm just, I'm just experimenting. So yeah, it's, it's easy to get into, or no, it's hard to get into the groove, but then I find that I, I want to stay in it, at, usually at the expense of sleep. Like, if I start editing a video, if I don't finish it that same night, I'm gonna wake up the next day and I'm not gonna want to go back to it, and then it'll get, inf it'll get indefinitely delayed, and I hate that. So typically when I get started on something, I want it done, and so... It's like, well, I'm either going to work for seven hours today or I'm not going to work at all. And that, I think that's why when I've got ten episodes of Callisto Protocol queued up, I'm like, well, that's 60 hours of editing. And I don't even want to start. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. Edgy chat. Robbie, my boy! Oh, what a pleasant morning! Hey! You! The Purepad Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together! First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see that Purepad. This will only take a moment. <laughs> One, and a two, and a three, and a four! Yes. I needed that. Dunzo! Now this sensor will make a sound if there are shrines near you. All right, now that I've installed that sensor for you, how about you walk around the lab just test out how it reacts? Oh well, I'm kind of, where are you going? I'm going to test out the, you said to walk, oh, a walk around inside of the lab. I'm sorry, man, I thought you meant around. It's beeping. This guy's not gonna let me- he's never gonna let me leave. Link looks so... mangled right now. Look at the- look at the freaking shield he's got. Let's give him a weird weapon too, just to complete the ensemble. There we go. <laughs> Straight through the ceiling. 
Dude, this is the longest weapon in the game, I swear. Link is just like, he's lost his mind. I think that when he lost Zelda this time around, he experienced a psychotic break. And uh, here we are. At least he's got us. Okay, Robbie, like, where am I looking, bro? I'm. V it goes off and then it. Oh! What do you want me to do? You want me to use asc Ascension? Maybe that's. What? It never beeps twice in the same place. Let's try Ascension. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Is he gonna tell me what are you doing? Come back here. Ah. Sorry. Yeah, he's a. Yeah, I am looking like a Borderlands character. That's true. So. Coding is like that as. Yeah, yeah, coding is. Yeah. I, I've never been a good coder, but I imagine it's very much the same thing. You get into a groove with it and you just want to. Whatever the idea is in your head, you kind of break down for yourself where all the steps are going to be, and then sometimes one of the steps takes longer than you think. But once you clear it, you're feeling good that you're making progress. You want to keep it up because some days you just don't want to do it at all. I understand that. Don't edit. Just release them raw like a stream. Uh, that's what I'm going to do with this, I think. Um, and if it works out, you know, I just can't imagine someone like if I post this tonight's stream and I post like it's a four hour video. I mean, cool. Like, you know, I'm glad I backed it up. But, uh, you know, for archival purposes or whatever, just for for. Um, uh, oh my god, what's the word I'm looking for? Pr posterity's- posterity's sake. I think that's what it is. Uh, you know, that's cool, but who's actually gonna sit and click that and watch it? I, I just can't- can't imagine it being good for the YouTube algorithm. Cause every, everything's gotta be so punchy, and if your video doesn't get watched front to back, then no one else gets- has it shared to them. Yeah, the zoom- the zooms and everything, like, the heavy editing is- has always been my style. And really, it's funny whenever I did like a live premiere for a heavily edited video and people would come in and think it was live. It's like, how, how do you think I'm doing this in the moment? Um, posterior's sake. Posterities. I, I swear it's posterity. When you say for posterity's sake, it means like for the sake of the future, right? Is that the... I, I could have the wrong... I think I have the wrong word. Damn it, what is up with this thing? Do I have to pull it out? Don't make me pull it out, Robbie. <laughs> you asshole. Dude, what is going on? Is this bugged? This, this feels like a bug. Can I grab anything in here? He wants me to search in this room, no? Yeah, I do. I do need help. And you're moving toward a shrine. Okay, so it's not as much about being in a position. It's about... Okay, okay. There we go. There must be, because my creations are perfect, unless they get broken in some way. Now, why don't you go check down the slope in the direction that the sensor is indicating? Done deal. Thank you for finally letting me out. It's making new new noises. Okay, so is it down? It's going to be down here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Lucha, Lucha Link! With the badass moves. The Ratsum Forest Cave. There it is. Big Daddy Shrine. This is fantastic. I was, uh... I've been thinking about doing this quest since I started the game. To get this... The Shrine Detector, because so many of them are hidden. Now, I, now I'm gonna be able to get many more, many more. Upgrade my ass. 
Yeah, posterity. <laughs> I don't think it is physically possible. I kind of love how how uh, just completely batshit Nintendo has allowed people to get with this fusion system. It's it's just so ridiculous. And it, it really clutters the screen, too. Like, most games put so much energy into, like, making sure your armor sets and weapons look really cool and, like, make some sense. But Nintendo's just like, yeah, just slap any two things together at any point in time. <laughs> we're not gonna, like... We're not gonna take extra steps to make sure that the fusions all look good. We're just gonna... You can just do it if you want, you know? Okay, that magic scepter is probably worth having. Because I'm hoping that I get to go to the water temple soon. I've, I just have a feeling that's the next one. And so I want to... That's why I'm stocked up on... Uh, Okay, so, like, I've got over here, I've got Opal Rod. Actually, Opal Rod is water-based. That's probably useless. So Topaz Sword and Shock-like Hammer are both lightning weapons. And so is the Topaz Rod. So now I kind of want my Magic Scepter to also be Topaz. But not until I actually find the Water Temple, I guess. But when I was in the, um, when I was in the Ice Zone, it, some, of the, some of the enemies were really OP. And hard to kill, but then I would just bust out a fire weapon and like one sh one shot them with it. They like they make super effective, almost as as potent as Pokemon, or even more effective. Even I guess I'd go as far as to say even more so. Wasn't this man in love with a statue in the last game? <laughs> Robbie, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, did the statue eventually come to life? Or was it just like he actually... He, he knew it was a statue and he was good with it. I've seen some mannequins. I've been like... I could develop feelings for that. But never a statue. Come here, you sticky lizards. Oh, it's a boob frog! A boob frog! Oops. I keep doing that. Come here, boob! Was unfair. One more, one more. May the afterlife treat you with blessings. All right. Cave is done. Let's get on out of here. Old school body build. Called it Cherry, but his wife got jealous, so he stopped talking to it. That's, uh, that's something. On the real world, I've heard about people falling in love with their horses. So... It's kind of up, it's it's in the eye of the beholder, you know? Which is worse? A horse or a statue? A horse you can actually have, you know, relations with, and uh... I mean, I don't know for sure. I'm just assuming you can. <laughs> can be a lot more harmful in the long run, is what I'm saying. Look at that statue up there. I I could fall in love with that statue. Now that's a statue. You can get it on with. I don't know what I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying, Charlotte. Ignore Ignore that. Look at this guy. This guy looks like he knows exactly what he wants in life. What? You see an old man out walking and assume he's got nothing but free time? I might not seem busy to you, Shani, but taking care of the cuckoos that Jamana left in my care is a big part of my day. <laughs> I thought I'd help her out a bit now that her husband's gone to do his part over at Lookout Landing. Every day, I take the cuckoos on a walk up to the hill. Hmm? Better find where I put those earplugs. Uh, do chickens need walks? Is that even... I mean, this guy, this guy has sort of a... This guy seems to think his, he's got a mission in life, but I don't know if it's really all that important. My design of the center is beyond perfection. Just listen to its sounds, and you'll find your way to that shrine. I did. What? You found it? I'd expect nothing less from you. 
Anyway, how about that sensor? Handy, huh? I'd expect nothing less from me! <gasps> well, I've told you what you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and out the other. So, hang on a minute. Is he gonna soup it up even more? Okay, looks correct. Yes! Ah. An instruction manual? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna soup it up more later. Let's make it truly great. Let's start another, another, uh... Well, what is this gonna tell me? If you want to stop it from finding shrines, you can disable it. Uh, I guess that was helpful. There's also Hero's Path Mode. It shows you where you've traveled. Finally, Sensor Plus, which helps you find more than shrines. The Imperial Path will be perfect once I've installed all of those. But first, I'll need you to gather some test data so that I can fine-tune my prototypes. <sighs> Alright, well, what do you want? To set set me up on all of these missions, man. Okay, so it's pretty far away. Glad to know it. What is that? That's like a shrine entrance, no? What good is this going to do? Yeah, chickens can walk on. I've activated a travel gate. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. You'll need to make your own way to the Akala lab, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, tell me about all three of them, actually. I can install the prototypes. I'll need you to get data from 15 shrine locations. I definitely have 15. 100% I have 15. I got like 30, probably closer to 30. Tell him, Link! What? You've got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're getting Hero's Path Mode. What's faster than instantly? Instantaneously. You can now use the map to see the path you've taken. You can save around 256 hours of gameplay? What? So what, it's just, it's just Google Maps? It's just doing the old, like, the My Location? Alright, well that's not very exciting, I don't care about that. I guess I'll take a look, but... Hero's Path. Press X on the map screen to see your journey so far. Oh my god, that's actually really cool. Why would they even bother to... program that? Yeah, this isn't... maybe for Wells? Maybe. I just... holy shit. I just can't even believe they'd bother to, like, make that visually appealing and to... Like, you're telling me they've... 256 hours worth of moving around. That is nuts. <laughs> I, yeah. Neat. Thanks, Nintendo. That probably took somebody... Some some poor bastard probably coded that for, like, 10 years. Um, Alright, Sensor Plus is the last one. Five monsters in the compendium? Oh, I got way more than that. He's gonna go, what? Show. Oh, unbelievable! You got all that data? And I can install that upgrade right away. Good, good. Oh. Select anything, something oh. other than shrines as a sensor target. And you can search for whatever you want to find from your compendium. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot about that. That was in Breath of the Wild too. That's sweet. So if I want to find, you know, more milk, <laughs> for example, because I'm out of milk. I could pop that into there and... Ooh. 
Oh, yes, it's all there. Creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, and even different kinds of treasure. In short, a perfect collection of what you might one day achieve in your own compendium. Curious? I invite you to access and see for yourself. Oh, yes, I should prepare operation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm going to look in his. It just sounds like spoilers to me. <laughs> he needs some milk. Liam, how you doing? So, okay, so I have almost all the features, except for the one that he told me I gotta go way up, way up northeast for, the Travel Medallion. And that'll allow me to set a location I can instantly return to. That's actually sweet, so like anytime I go into like a, a cave or something where I'm not sure I'm gonna find a shrine and be able to return easily. I don't, I don't see, foresee it being super helpful, but like helpful enough that I'm excited to go up there and get it. I feel like that's where the Gorons are, up in the... Up in the northern eastern quadrant. Anyway, thanks for that, Robbie. That was fun. It was a good time. You can see chunks of the map you haven't visited, but you know, yeah. Yeah, Google's obsessed with knowing where we are at all times, so now it wants to know where we are in Zelda. They see that we're not leaving our houses anymore now that Zelda's out, so they're like, well, let's at least figure out where they went in Hyrule. Okay, uh, okay, I think I'm done with this. Oh, no, 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 the Korok. Buddy's, uh, buddy's friend, right? There he is. I got your ass. Oh, my friend, I guess. So I'm so wasted. I can't move. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't move. Alright, I got an idea. Handily, he's just down a cliff, so we're gonna crush this one. Um... No, no, no! Shit! Wait, wait. Oh, God. We're really botching this today. No, Link, hurry the. Can I reverse it? Ugh. Oh, it's- it's gone. <laughs> it's- it's completely gone. Alright, well, I got 19 more. Oh, I'm sorry about that, buddy. Okay. So, let's put you in the middle. So I can maneuver around you. And then, uh... So here's the plan. We're gonna... Hold it up in the air like this. For a while. Okay, that should be good enough. Then I'm gonna jump on, and then we're gonna rewind. So here goes. And let's go. Yes! Yes! Whoa, whoa. Don't worry, bud, we're getting there. Look at this. The style points that I should be racking up here. Lucha Link in the Gimp Mask, he's gonna- oh, we're gonna hit him right on. Uh-oh, we're not gonna hit him fast enough. We're gonna hit the water! We're touching down! Oh, shit. Oh, thank god it's shallow. I didn't mind drowning that horrible, and, but I didn't want to drown this poor sap. Alright, that was pretty good, right? I'm pretty impressed with myself. Thank you. Yeah. Seeds of plenty. I can use those to um, get some more weapon slots. I'm gonna try that out. Uh, okay, so now I'm done with that area for now. Let's get weapon slots and then let's do the war mission finally and then maybe I'll call it a night after that, we'll see. I'm starting to I'm starting to feel a little bit of fatigue. It's starting to happen for sure. Have any of you guys seen the uh, Daddy Daddy Korok dance before? So I'm not gonna lie to you. 
This is one of the sexiest things they've ever put in a Zelda game. Wait a second. This is the thing the guy was showing me. Ah. Wurtz, the thing about Wurtsworth. He told me about it. The royal family's daily life, you say? And there are 12 other just like this one? Finding 12 more seems a tall order. Eh, maybe this tablet fell from the sky, so maybe searching from above is the best way to go. Maybe someone like Rito Hearth could help. If you say so. The hell is Rito Hearth? Has this guy got a mission for me? Is it kind of fun? There he is. Daddy has to. Yeah, here it comes. Here comes the sexy Korok dance. Oh, he's just chilling. He's checking out the surroundings. Yeah, I got I got seeds on me, buddy. Weapons. 17. Ex I have exactly. Well, not exactly enough, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't do the dances myself anymore. It's it, I've I've ruined myself many a time. You guys have seen proof. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? That was insane. The way they just apparate into existence on time with the beat like that? Jeez, they're so coordinated. Alright, come back later. Alright, well... <laughs> Link in his psychopath... ...day he's having. Okay, we're doing our final thing, guys. And I could not be more excited about this one. Unless we see another shooting star. I'm gonna rip it. Yeah, see what I'm saying? That was a that was a crate that dance is like uh it's like doing a What were the there's there's such thing as like a like the birds of paradise in uh in planet Earth. The mating dances they do. Where they expand their neck feathers and they create like a second face. It's terrifying, but apparently it turns other birds on. So I think that's kind of what the uh, what was happening there. Huh. Everyone's seen the Birds of Paradise dances. They're crazy. Some of the most interesting shit nature has to offer, in my opinion. Huh. Aside from like deep sea. But like, I don't know, those those dances, like the birds have evolved. It see like, you know, some, some, some animals will evolve specifically so that they can hunt a certain other kind of animal. You know, like a, 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 a bird or whatever will grow like extra long claws so that it can reach into the wood of a tree to get it, the grubs that it likes or whatever. And so the ones with the longest claws reproduce the most often and you end up with longer claws. But ha like, it's nuts to me that these birds in paradise their their <laughs> their development is completely revolves around being able to do this dance the best and the dances are weird as hell they don't like it's not just using what you got like they've got extra faces just for when they dance all right we're diving right into battle and we're frozen again we're fine we're fine we're dropping on this we're coming in hot I'm going to shoot a bomb on them, and they're not even going to be over before it began. Ooh, ooh. There they are. That was sick. Hello, boys. Your savior has arrived. What's up, Haas? Hi. I'm surprised he recognizes me. <laughs> it's an honor to see you again. We're moving in on the monster base up ahead. They've dug in once again. Oh. After we approach, we'll wait for the right moment and then launch our attack. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier than to have you assist us again. Oi! Please join us. We can bring peace back to this land if we work together. If this were Game of Thrones, I'd need to know a few more things about his his motivations. You know? One man's peace is another man's toilet bowl society, so... But I trust, I trust these guys, so I'm just gonna fire some bombs on these fools. Wait for the watch the watch the frame rate's gonna the frame rate's gonna bottom out. 
I love these big battles because the, the the it's like they didn't even think about what it was gonna do to the. Oh, these are tough ones. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Where is it? The puff shroom. No, no. I, oh, I guess the uh, fairy potion doesn't act like a fairy then, eh? So I definitely had the fairy elixir. It should have revived me from death automatically, but it didn't. So I guess it's just a health potion. Lame. Okay, I forgot. We've been we've been exploring peaceful villages so long today that I forgot uh, that there's danger sometimes. Holy crap! This is nuts. All right, we're just gonna. <laughs> this is what happens when there's no friendly fire. Oh. <laughs> you know what I need? A better bow. Let's use the stronger bow and shoot bombs out of that. Boom! <laughs> Holy! Dude, stop. Stop chasing me like that. Okay, we need something crowd co crowd control based, right? Like, I'm gonna try the puff shroom again, but yes, yes, I got it off that time. All right, now more bombs, obviously, because that's just what we do. That's what we're all about. Maybe a fire arrow once I got him. Shit, that was bad aim. The motion controls on the controller really throw me off sometimes. Thought, I thought I should throw an excuse out there. Yeah! Don't need an excuse for that, though. You're toast! You're toast, pilgrim. Hey! Okay, that's the motion controls again. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'll beat you. Beat you cheese, bro. Give me your guts. Literally just collecting their guts. And now, the final shot. What? Oh, there's the last one there. You get... You get a night... Uh, 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 key side ball. Yeah, homing arrow. Boom! Oh, very slick. Bravo, Hi. everyone. I'm so grateful for everything you did. Could you come here? Give you a smooch. Oh, another incredible battle. With you on our side, we can take any threat. I nearly forgot. Please accept this. 100's pretty good. Damn. Look at this guy with the bucket on his head. Oh. <laughs> that guy? I don't even think he knew where he was when he was in that fight. Of course, the true battle's yet to come, Link. Have you seen it? The Blood Moon, I mean. When it rises in the sky, monsters will flood the land and threaten the peace in Hyrule again. Oh. My squad will rest and rebuild their energy to prepare for its return. Ah, oh, well, I do look forward to fighting by your side again. Hey. Thank you, boys. Really glad I, really glad to be a part of this. Not one of them asked me about my mask, though. I'm not entirely sure I'm cool with that. I feel like some, like, someone should have, like, I, they don't feel comfortable around me, I guess, if they can't ask me about the mask. It's just kind of a crazy, crazy thing I'm doing. I'm trying it out. I need feedback. Oh! Alrighty, well. Yeah, they're starstruck. They froze up like I would around Nick Cage. Yeah, they don't want to say anything. They were, they were afraid they might hurt my feelings. But I mean, look behind the, behind the mask. Like, Link is looking pretty fly in this game. Like, look at his hair. He's got that Super Saiyan 4 hair going. He looks cool as hell. I really like the, uh, the outfits I've been finding in this game are really cool so far. The glide shirt's super cool. Makes it so that when you're free falling, when you start, like, doing the thing with your arms out, you can really control better. I should have been using that, actually, before. That would have gotten me to the shooting star in time. That's a shame. I forgot I had it. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I think uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night here. 
I'm uh, starting to fade a little bit and I don't want to just be sitting here in silence. But um, I do want to say that that was, I mean, clearly, that what is it? It's midnight. We've been doing, I've been, it's five hours. Five hours. I, I figured I'd do maybe two. Um, so this has just been an absolute an absolute blast and uh i couldn't have, couldn't have done it done it if you guys didn't take time out of your days to hang with me so thank you for uh boosting my confidence in this in this process this way of making content um 100 i'm gonna do it again i don't know exactly when that's the biggest issue i can't make like a schedule where it's like every wednesday sunday or whatever i just can't do that because i got like everything's changing all the time but i will uh, if you're not in the Discord, uh, you can find the link to it through any of the Deep Dark Boys, Deep Recaps YouTube videos. Um, I mean, I, you probably know about that. Otherwise, why would you? Be, how would you be here? <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I'll be like in touch through that. You can reach out to me anytime, and um, maybe I'll make a Twitter account for Keanu Reeves so that I can double down on announcements when I do have one set up. I'm thinking about trying to do a big one on f this coming Friday. Um, but that's sort of a, that's a placeholder, a tentative one. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks everybody so much again for being here. And uh, I'm going to head. Yeah, I don't think I can do bits yet. I don't even know what the hell bits are. I'm going to be honest. Every time I've gone on a stream and I see the bits notification, I'm like, the fuck is a bit? Um, but we'll, we'll learn this stuff together. Or you guys will teach me probably. You're probably more savvy than I am. But I'm just so glad that this setup works. Yeah. Yeah, I love you guys. Have a have a fantastic night.